is the Glass Cannon Network. And I've eaten your toasted raviolis. Your t raps. <laughs> and uh, now, having been here for 36 hours, I get the sense that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. They still have a pretty competitive ABA basketball team, Troy. <laughs> I just assumed after driving through that barren wasteland that was the stretch between Chicago and here, we would come and there would be a couple pockets of cultural significance. No, it's just the arch. <laughs> and uh, pizza that tastes like cardboard. It's very strange. <laughs> and the arch sucks, too. We're staying right near the arch. <laughs> we're right, fe- <laughs> right in the, we're in its shadow, literally. <laughs> Did you say the arch beautiful. sucks? It's very beautiful. The arch kind of sucks. Uh, the arch is no, phenomenal. It doesn't even it's light awesome. up at night. I it should I, light up. It should light up, right? I thought I'd No, it doesn't need to light up. You lack imagination. It's you know, awesome. In New York, our monuments light up at night. Kate, Kate legitimately saying. looked out the window and she goes, it doesn't light up. And I was like, what? And she goes, the arch. It doesn't even light up. And it doesn't like, light up because everyone in St. Louis apparently goes to bed at 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> there is no one on the streets after 5 p.m. No. It's very strange. I thought I'd at least look through the arch and see like a picturesque landscape of Americana 
And it's, it's not just, Stargate. Yeah, but it's, it was like <laughs> it was like a sad factory, train tracks, and it's a casino. It's the gateway to the West, you fool. You look at it from the Illinois side. Well, yeah. I'll tell you. I looked through and I saw the casino, and I just went to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that should be the slogan of this city: St. Louis. There's a decent casino in Illinois, right across the river. <laughs> You're it was fine. fine. It wasn't anything special. But it was fine. <laughs> that Illinois side is. Uh, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> that's rough. It really does look nice when you look over the river at St. Louis from that distance, I'll tell you. Now I know why we sold this show out so quickly. <laughs> what the hell else do you do in this town? <laughs> it's either go see Glass Cannon live or walk past uh, abandoned storefronts. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah, decide to start your own crack den. I guess <laughs> yeah. like ample real estate opportunities for that. What did you say? You walked, let, you left a bar with Nick D last night. Last night you? at like eleven o'clock at night, we're walking down the street, and I literally saw a storefront. I mean, it was, the store had been out of business clearly for a while, but the window to the store was shattered in and wide open to the street. <laughs> it wasn't billboarded over. There wasn't like police tape around it. You could just like walk in there and sleep. I think, if I, you think, I think I saw that same building when Kate and I were walking and I went, damn, this city rocks. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, there's yeah. so much awesome. urban exploration to do here. That's exactly what I Sydney said. said. Yeah. Ooh, urban exploration. I would love to live in this city. It would have been a really bad combo if you were walking with McDermott instead of me because McDermott just said simply, you want to go in there? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no! Like, I was very yes. scared. Well, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. <laughs> we love you. We will revitalize this town if it's the last thing we do. I don't trust a town that doesn't have four sports teams. <laughs> I think in total you. they've had more than four, but... It's just imagine having a sports team that's like, we don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> and they left. Anyways, thanks for coming. Uh, no refunds. Um... This is our first time in St. Louis, sold out like that. Woo! I imagine, Woo! I imagine we have a lot of first timers here tonight. Show of hands, first timers. Oh my God! Oh! Wow! A couple oh. of last timers after we make fun exactly. of Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare for disappointment. <laughs> Sydney has six martinis in front of her. So. Who raise your hand? Who sent them? Thank you. <laughs> You broke Thank the rule. Thank you so Thank you. much. You broke, broke a rule, rule number, number one. one. How one. dare you? Broke you broke rule number one and also passed one down. How dare yeah. do you? Want, do you want one? Yeah, hook me up. Dirty or You want it dirty? Straight yeah. up. Oh, should I go wine first or martini? Oh, the classic three drink. What's the beer before liquor? Which? What's wine? I guess wine. Yeah, but wine doesn't even factor in, so I think you're good. I'm trying to decide what <laughs> flavor I want my vomit to be. <laughs> <laughs> do you want olive Cabernet or do you want... Cabernet or do you want oaky, oaky vodka? Well, yeah. I'm at City Winery, not City Martinery. <laughs> city <laughs> Martinery. I guess we'll just do pint glasses at once. We're trademarking City Martinery. Yeah, TM, TM, don't take that. That's ours. <laughs> um, actually, it's actually pretty good. I'm really excited about tonight, and uh, I didn't... Thank you. I thought she dressed up as a <laughs> clam for Halloween. Doesn't she look like a clam? Hey, clap if you know what this the is. The lumpiest clam ever. Oh my god! It's like I don't even know who I am. <laughs> I'm famous on Lumpy Space. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I heard people say LSP. I uh, I didn't wear a costume tonight because having played two city wineries now, I know it's a corporate policy that it has to be 90 degrees in here, <laughs> <laughs> and it ruined the Chicago show for me. But so. it feels great. In it feels right great now. right now. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful now. Um, no, but you know yeah, what? It's like being in the Letterman studio. This is awesome. Halloween's over. I've already moved on to Christmas, everybody. So, uh, is everybody ready for Christmas, huh? I, uh, shut up. Don't yeah. you boo Christmas. Ooh. Hiss. How do you sleep at night? How is it you can be so defensive you have to be defensive on Christmas's part as well? Well, we <laughs> like, sleep honestly. well because Santa's not coming in our chimney all weird and coming stuff. Coming in you your know? chimney? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no, I didn't, I said come. <laughs> no. I, I said come, not All I can picture is Santa standing over I a said, chimney. Come, yeah, not, I said <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll fill up your stocking with cheer. <laughs> mm. No. Yeah. I said come, not come. I know what you okay. said. You're doubling down now. There you go. <laughs> It'll put out the fire. Uh, I, uh, 
gross. <laughs> Guys, come on. It's children here. I, uh, my wife sent me this uh, TikTok last night and uh, after I left Joe, and it perfectly encapsulates how I feel about Christmas. Check out this guy, at Robbie's Moon Music on TikTok. This dude explains exactly how I feel. In a w- I was like, yes, yes, finally somebody sees me. He basically Is says... Is he too sad and full of, and full of hate and vitriol? I'm not going to take that from you on Christmas. <laughs> it's not Christmas. <laughs> I know what I want for Christmas is two people at that table. Oh my God. Anything else to say? The baby of Christmas miracle will happen. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody peed on your overalls. Asking Santa for murder is very Halloween of you. Let me explain what this guy says. He believes, oh, so fucking brilliant. He believes there are two Christmas days and two Christmas seasons. And November 1st starts the first Christmas season, leading all the way up to Thanksgiving, which is the first Christmas day. Think about it. You're with your family. You're eating comfortable food. You're celebrating. It's Christmas. Yes, it's Thanksgiving, but it's Christmas. And then the day after... After starts the second season and it ends on the second day of Christmas, which is Christmas Eve, 55 days. Those who have followed this track have had a better life because. Wait, 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 wait. You just said it ends on Christmas Eve, so you don't even count Christmas Day no, that's as That's the most Christmas? depressing day of the year. What? <laughs> yeah, that is the worst day. It's it the is. worst day. I, uh, I guess I'm just think thinking about it. You anticipate it so much that you ruin Christmas Day? Yes. I, I worry yeah. about that. I worry about that, but when you I don't have up, to worry, I know it for sure. It's been yeah, my experience yeah. the past eight years. Yeah. In fact, he ruins it for everyone else in yeah. his life. Yeah, I'm saddest for his children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> saddest for my children? They get to experience Christmas like no one else. Yeah, but then they're told on Christmas Day that everything dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Don't ever get attached to anything, son. <laughs> You can't depend on anyone. <laughs> Even Santa. Jeez. Christmas is over. Take Go to your bed. Presents. Second <laughs> Christmas is over. Second Christmas. I hope you enjoyed first Christmas on Thanksgiving, because that's long gone, son. <laughs> well, I'm excited. Wednesday. Wednesday, start. Throw up a tree. Throw up some lights. Enjoy yourself. No. No. Or not. I don't no, I... Uh... <laughs> I want a new cast. (laughs) You guys have anything you want to talk about? Uh, I would like to point out that we placed drink orders before the show, and I got empty glasses in front of me, which is not really what I ordered. It's for the wine at our feet. Do you want wine? No, I wonder what what I ordered. This this place is kind of known for wine. I know McD has a lot to do, but I did place an order. Looks like you got coal in your stocking. I, I know. I should have been a better boy this Would year. you like a martini? Should have been a better uh, yeah, oh, you, all right. You want a martini? Yeah, sure. Do you Bumpy? want it dirty or straight up? I'm a bartender Just now. Whatever you have. I'll take the drinks. Either. I can make you anything you want. It has to be a martini, though. I'll have the martini. Okay. <laughs> anything you want, as long as it's a martini. Here at the Glass Cannon Martinery. The Glass Cannon Martinery. We could open up a chain of martineries. Oh, they're on the... S- oh, oh that, they're behind the stage. Do you want? And now you look like the now asshole. I, now I look like an asshole. Let's all boo him. Boo! I, I know. The wig affects my peripheral vision. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll jump in. Uh, I had a great day today. I've spent most of 2023 not accompanying Skid and Matthew on their show day jaunts because I'm usually too sick from drinking the night before with Troy and losing money. And losing money. Uh, this Came time, though, it was great. Too. Felt great. And they were going to Ulysses S. Grant's house, uh, Whitehaven. And so we all went together. And it was super, super fun and uh, very historic. And we learned a lot. And I learned that Matthew looks really, really great as Ulysses S. Grant. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Wow. I mean, the beard really sells it, doesn't it? Wow. I mean, with such real- pride, he looks to the skyline. I didn't realize until just now I'm facing away yeah. from where <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant's outline of his head is facing. <laughs> and his wife, Skid. <laughs> you look beautiful, Skid. <laughs> How I love him. <laughs> I was trying to capture the haunted look in the eye of the Butcher of Galena. Yeah. The butcher of- <laughs> you look like a drunkard. All right, anyway. Sydney, what did you and Kate do today? Oh, uh, uh, you know... Nothing much. We not, went to... not, nothing cool or fun or anything. Do you really want to know? Not anymore. 
<laughs> that took too long already. We kept describing it. We got back and Kate and I were like so energetic and we were like, we've had the best time. We've been crawling around for hours. Best day ever. We went to the city museum. We went to the city museum. <laughs> I didn't know. So we were pulling up and we saw like the outdoor jungle gym. I'm like, this looks cool, but I'm not getting in there. As this is for children. We get inside. I see like a tiny hole to crawl through and I'm like, see ya. <laughs> I've got holes on the knees of my pants. <laughs> I lost Kate for an hour. I lost her. I rode a 10-story slide. We rode 10-story slide. It hurt my butt a lot. Uh, Or we had fish kiss our fingers. Well, we put our hands in tanks and fish kiss our fingers. This Describing everything sounds like a fever dream. (laughs) I told myself... We flew a plane. Oh, we flew a plane? You flew a plane? (laughs) In our minds. What museum is this? In our minds. Um, Sounds like you just got high. I was (laughs) thinking... Wandered around this ghost town. That place would have been scary if we were high. That place is kind of freaky. Yeah, actually. There were so many children. Obviously, it's like, it's meant for children. It's very cool. Adults can go too. I was thinking though, man... If I had kids, obviously this is the place to go, but I don't want to crawl around with them. And I said, I said to Grace's friend, uh, Anna, I was like, if I had a kid, I would just stick an air tag on him and slap them on the butt and let them run free. I'll find you later. Have <laughs> some knee pads and like a headlamp. Yeah. <laughs> You missed out. I know you guys had fun on your history date, but you guys missed out. You yeah. really just made us sound like dads. Yeah. <laughs> are you not? We're like, like out living and learning about the Civil War <laughs> while they're going down slides and flying planes. Like, tell us about your Roman Empire. We're not just dads. We're for their them, dads. You just <laughs> that grand. For us, it's playgrounds, yeah. I guess. Meanwhile, I went to a brewery and a casino. <laughs> <laughs> Activities, activities better done alone. That's very on brand for all of us. Yeah, very on brand, I would say. Yeah. Divorce dad. Divorce dad. <laughs> <laughs> I had the divorce dad day. The divorce dad day. <laughs> all alone at a brewery. <laughs> <laughs> when, we had this, when we were coming back from, the, from Whitehaven, we had this driver, uh, a Lyft driver, and he was very nice. His name was Joe, uh, and he was very kind. Uh, at one point, Joe asked him, have you been, or you asked him, like, how, uh, have you lived here long? He's I've been here all my life. And my kids are about to leave for college, so my sentence ends soon. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and, and Skid trying to make conversation was like, well, where are you going to go? And he said, anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I didn't want to press him on why, because there's a lot of really bad answers to that question, and I just don't want to know. There's probably not any good answors. Well, so, there's yeah. some. There's some. There could be some funny answers, like, oh, right, my, it was Christmas time, and I my fell wife in used to date this local doctor, clown, yeah. this local TV clown, and I can't stand seeing his face on on billboards. <laughs> That'd be a good answer, but there's a lot of bad answers that I don't want to hear. Yeah, that would have been a great answer. I know. <laughs> I speak from experience. This is the show, by the way. This is the show. Yeah, welcome. This is what you paid for. (laughs) Um, I don't. I don't want to talk anymore because I have a goal tonight to have the best show of the year. Right. I had an epiphany this morning when I woke up in pain, and I said, "Ooh, I'm going to move this over here, move that over there, push this to there, and have the best show ever." Now I always think that, and they always ruin it. But I have a feeling it's going to happen. Would you like to see us play pretend? All right. My flight is until 6.30. Uh, Joe, can I get a little mood music, a little recap music? Something sexy. You got it, pal. Something real. It's Halloween. Let's do sexy. Yeah, just play the monster mash. Yeah. (laughs) Ooh. It's good cat music. Set in a suspenseful mood. Solid cat muse, bro. Cat muse. I'm going to put some Red Bull in my wine. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, really? Call it a Red Ane. <laughs> or a Charbull. <laughs> Charbull night. Charbull. It's Charbull yeah. night at the Martinery. <laughs> Dude, I had so many troubles last night. <laughs> Punched a mirror thinking it was a dude yelling at me. <laughs> I'm gonna make this cap real. That sounds like it came from personal experience. It really does. It doesn't sound like you just you made that up. Let me like that box. Ah, let me tell you something, what is ugly. Your face made out of glass. <laughs> I'm gonna make this uh, cap really simp. <laughs> 
you've followed all 70, 80, however many episodes we've done, then you know our heroes are searching for a man named... Count Hazerton Lyles. Bingo. Count Hazerton Lyles IV. This is a man who is attempting to bring an alien god into the world to destroy it. In his search to unlock the knowledge to do such a horrible thing, he brought two of our heroes into his employ some time ago, and when he was done with them, he had their memories erased and left them to rot. Well, they have their memories back. And, along with some new allies, they are hot on the trail of Laos and know that he is traveling to the Kadiran city of Kathir, looking for a library of the occult to find a tome called the Necronomicon, which will bring him one step closer to realizing his terrible plan. You are now heading to that city to try and intercept him and recently arrived in the port town of Kash- Casimir. This is in the nation just to the north of the one you're heading to. Before you leave Casimir, you decide to stop in and check in on one of Lau's known associates, a man by the name of Myaknian Mun. When you arrive at the old prison infirmary that is now his home, it looks abandoned. You knock on the door and a very polite man answers. Perhaps this is Mun. Well, politeness aside, he's acting really weird. So you try to barge past him, and he loses his mind and attacks. As you dispose of him, you realize it is not Mun, but a hollow construct made to look like Mun. You continue exploring this house and eventually end up in a laboratory where you're attacked by an alchemical golem and a vicious ochre jelly. So stupid we do this for a living. <laughs> After defeating those dumb creatures, you start to open the state. You had to la- explain it to several people at the Ulysses Grant house. Today. <laughs> That's oh, not a lot of choice. And then once we did explain it to the whole crowd, we fanned out into the house, and this very nice middle-aged lady comes over to Joe and says, there's a board game in the other room. <laughs> yeah, she's very excited. <laughs> you know, there's a board game in the other room. It's just it like, was- oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. She was referring to a checkerboard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and she omitted a word that she said in her head, which was nerd. <laughs> That's right. Board game. Yeah, because like we told everybody, and there was like nerd. nine or ten people in this group. <laughs> it's like nine or ten people in this group, and eight or nine of the ten immediately put their heads down and broke away and walked away <laughs> as quickly as possible. And one guy was like, like Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. And he was really into it, and he was like, where's your show? And I didn't have the heart to be like, sold out, bro. <laughs> so I was like, it's a city winery. Yeah, try to get in. Are you here? <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't get yeah. in. It would have been cool if he was like, you know, if you'd attack an ochre jelly with piercing, <laughs> slashing, or electricity, it splits into two. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you already know that. <laughs> and then he just disappears. <laughs> Anyways, you fight those stupid creatures and you defeat them a couple nights ago in Chicago. And after you defeat them, you start to open these stained glass windows that are around the room. Suki, with no regard for anyone's safety, opens one and sets off a black tentacle strike. Maybe I did it on purpose. I didn't. It was an accident. (laughs) Well, the trap sucked because I couldn't roll for shit in (laughs) Chicago. But you open up another window and it reveals a tunnel going deep down below the infirmary. So you climb down the rather wet, tight tunnel. Whoa, wait. Santa Claus is coming (laughs) to town. You climb down this tunnel and it opens onto a a catwalk. It's all her. Overlooking a wet floor covered in water that's rushing towards a huge open hole in the back of an enormous chamber. There are two small creatures who spot you on the catwalk and attack you with javelins on chains and poisoned crossbows. And two more of these strange creatures swinging from chains above the water, casting spells at you. You've learned that these little imps are known as Deros. This goes back to uh, original D&D, as Skid pointed out. These are natives of an area known as the Darklands, deep, deep below 
the natural world. While you were able to take one of them out, a couple things have happened. One, Aldo was hit by one of these poisoned crossbow bolts. Oh, that's right. And the venom has now reached stage two, making him sick and clumsy. It's eating away at his hit points. Two, Ethel bravely jumped to one of these chains to fight the swinging spellcasters, only to fall victim to a blindness spell and now cannot see. And finally, Atticus, our dumb wizard, <laughs> failed a save against a suggestion spell where a little voice in his head said, hey, please walk to the end of our catwalk. Descend the ladder and join us. So we ended the show in Chicago two nights ago with Atticus using all three of his actions to walk down the catwalk and begin the descent into the water, only to look down into the pit and see dozens upon dozens of hands 60 feet below reaching up toward him at the bottom of the pit. Now, while doing my prep this morning, I noticed a couple mistakes were made. That happens when you drink a gallon of white wine. <laughs> Both blindness and suggestion have the incapacitation trait. So, since double those spell levels are both below your level, your result would have been one step better. You both failed, so those would be treated as successes. For Ethel, calm down. Coach. For Ethel. Coach. That means... I, I missed it. I'm sorry. You will, <laughs> you will be blind, not for one minute, but until the beginning of your next turn. Oh. Good. Huge. For Atticus, tough shit. Hands off the chest piece. <laughs> wasn't my hand. But you snap out of it when you see the hands. Because they seem like potential negative consequences? <laughs> sure. Let's go to the map. Is it already there? Hey, it's been there. Uh, it's a beautiful map. Old Davy Maps. Was that there. Davy Maps? Oh, of course it's Davey Old Davy Maps. Maps. Gorgeous. Thank you, Davy Maps. Oh, no, it's a great map, and uh, I Maps. was I was scrolling through it as you were describing the scene because it really is a a deep, interesting, and complicated scene. Like Atticus is really far away from all of his allies, minimum of uh, forty or fifty feet. Uh, Ethel's hanging on a chain over this water that's twenty feet below. The three creatures are hanging out over that water. Everybody else is on a catwalk all the way down at the bottom. It's, it's, it's a crazy situation. It's a nasty sitch. You just used all three of your actions. It is now nearing the end of round one, I think. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I think it's two or three. Any round junkies out there? <laughs> and it's still one of my character's turns. It they is, said it's round three. I don't care. <laughs> it is uh, Swingy McGee right here, uh, right next to <laughs> Ethel. Remember, you're still blind. I can't see, he says. I'm going to take anyone's that. are still around, <laughs> I want you to know I can't see. <laughs> I was, I had Stop a lot of... Stop making excuses! <laughs> I had a lot of time to think about what I'm going to do. And I don't love my decision, but I think it's worth I think it's worth the old college try. So it like swings towards you and goes to target you with a spell. Go ahead and give me a will save. Do I get an attack of opportunity? No, it's a ranged spell. That swing was a flavor spell. Uh, will save, you say? Yes, and I'm not going to say it again. Well, if you don't, I'll just do fortitude. He is <laughs> fired up already. I'm sorry I raised my voice. I'm going to turn in a bottle cap. Oh! oh. What, you bring one from home? No, I have it marked on my sheet. Okay. <laughs> All of you have one bottle cap. Now you have zero, and you have two. I have one. You have another one? Yeah. What? I don't know. No, you don't. <laughs> These was... reset over time. He's the only one with two. And once you realize gone, that I probably got them la like the game before, the session before Chicago. You haven't been a part of this show in months. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> critical threat, critical threat, critical. Critical. Troy, why don't you like bottle caps? <laughs> I prefer tap beer. <laughs> You're unaffected. Yes! Okay. Yes! See, they don't care. They're Team Troy. <laughs> Did he do something? Did that guy do something to me? 
Hey guys, <laughs> did you do something to me? <laughs> All right, that was two actions. Somebody describe what's happening and break the tale. <laughs> there are dozens of hands, hands rising from the depths. Okay, stop describing. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming for us, Ethel. They're coming. I'm going to attempt to uh, hit you with my ranged John ski. 29 to hit. Ooh. That's my AC exactly. Oh. Oh, I'm the king of hitting your AC exactly. <laughs> also the king of almost max damn. 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. This thing just what was pulled. the spell? Uh, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> They'd like to know. Listen to the talk back. How about you describe narratively what happened at all? Yeah, <laughs> reaches out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might that, that might make for some dramatic radio. Uh, you do know this is a show in front of people. I'm not <laughs> yeah. telling you what that spell is because I might want to cast it later. No, I, I'm fine, but. <laughs> he reaches out and you start to feel a little tingling all over your body and then you shake it off. You now have zero bottle caps. Can I use my reaction to recognize the spell? <laughs> oh. Sha ga 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 goo. Is that an action? <laughs> a creature within my line yes. of sight casts a spell. You've got I that reaction? Recognize the spell? Yeah, I do. You Never used six. I forget it. All right, go ahead and give me a uh, whatever the roll is. How dare you? No one has ever done this in the history of the network. <laughs> um, no, we've been too stupid to know. That. I know. It's like, that's only because of our own shortcomings. I'm going to read the John here. If you are trained in the appropriate skill for the spell's tradition, and it's a common spell of second level or lower, it's not, you automatically identify it. Shibbity shabbity shoo. The highest level of the spell you automatically identify increases to four if you're an expert, six if you're a master, and ten if you're legendary. What are you? I'm a, a cult lady. What? <laughs> Legendary at what? Yeah, so is the spell's tradition occult? Does it have the occult keyword? No. Do you Maybe. have anything? Yes, it does. It does. The, yeah. All right, so you are an expert or I'm a master? I'm a master. Oh, oh shit! Master. Oh, wait! Oh. So it's, if it's level six or lower, you automatically identify it, I think. Yeah, buddy. I didn't know I could do this. That's, That's so cool. That's such a cool thing. so cool. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> That's so great. Shoot, I think you're right. Ah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> it was trying to show. Yeah. 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 Who said yeah. it? It was. Bo yeah, bottle cap! Bottle, bottle cap! cap. Bottle cap! Wow, she's really pleading. Instead of us, stop being weird. <laughs> it was trying to paralyze Ethel. Oh. Whoa! Oh, he would have so drowned to death. I yelled that out after you were it's three feet of Atticus water. Is you being can creepy. drown in two inches of water. It's true. It's yeah, true. if you fall right. If I fall right. Yeah. Um, why were you feeling down about your decision? That's a great decision, <laughs> Troy. What? <laughs> See, I'm trying to be nice to you. Because paralyzed has the incapacitation trait as well, uh, so it'd been really tricky uh, to do it. But I thought you'd eat shit on the roll instead. You used. I did. I rolled a natural four. <laughs> <laughs> Next round, round sixteen. Jesus. It is, uh, who died? <laughs> who died? All right, it's the guy in the water's turn. So he's down there. Even though he looks like he's right next to Ethel, he's not, because Ethel is swinging from the chains. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to shup, 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 come over here. Here, meaning to the north, where he sees Atticus. No. Front row. Sure. Stop, come on. <laughs> I don't like you as a person. You don't even know me. He is going to shoot his hand crossbow at you. Did he load it? Yes. Last round? Shut up, Alright, He loads it. <laughs> then moves. Then moves. Gets Final action. Shooting. 26 to hit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Tween Zony! Tween Zony. <laughs> it's at the top. Where are you going? Do you not know your AC by heart? You have one character. No, I, I believed I was under a condition I should not have been under, and I'm correct, and that's a... What would you, what would you roll? A 26. 26. Miss! Oh! Yeah! Whoa! Let's go give it to you. Wait for you to get it on. Missed by one! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. 
I still had grabbed on from the ooze. Like I had I'd forgotten oh. to take that off. And so, yeah, I was like, this seems a little low. Shit. All right, it's Aldo's turn. Aldo, uh, do we, I meant to look this up today, I forgot. Do you roll on the poison at the end of your turn or the beginning of your turn? I did. heard an end, I'll go end. So Aldo, you are clumsy too right now. You've taken significant damage. The venom is still coursing through your veins. What do you do? Yeah, he's like, I'm really messed up. I'm like, I'm, st- I'm like stumbling forward. He says, oh, no, this is not feeling right. I got move forward a little bit. And I'm going to throw an acid, a moderate acid, uh, acid flask at the one facing off against Ethel. Okay. That's the one that just tried to cast Paralyze and failed because Matthew brought a bottle cap from home. Oh, that's, that's a natural two. Oh, no. It's a 19 under my current state. Uh, 19. It's not a critical failure, so it will take splash damage. Okay, so that's six points of splash damage. Okay. Ow! Oh, man, that stinks. You're so clumsy. I know. I'm just, I'm a, I'm an oaf. Help me off, Gene. Did you an oaf? Uh... And then he's just going to throw a lesser alchemist fire. Lesser alchemist fire. Okay, go ahead. Fucking fuck. Natural 20. Woo! Whoa! This is the best show so far. Are you upset by that? <laughs> no, because I could have thrown an actual, uh, one of my good, good bombs. Yeah. Yeah. But. All right, Nat 20, though. That's going to be a fan fumble. Any from anybody, St. Louis people on there? Hey, St. Louis. Oh, my God. There's not a single St. Louis. <laughs> Well, 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 for uh, ranged, exactly critical, like it has to be a specific kind. Sorry. All right, how about oh, East sorry. St. Louis? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't Anybody from East St. Louis that get... We immediately decline all submissions <laughs> from East St. Louis. <laughs> Somebody had a good run they at try the table. to pretend they're from Missouri. <laughs> they're not. This one from Andrew in Columbus, Ohio, I guess is the closest Close range crit right now. Hi, Andrew. Columbus? Yeah, very strange. Did Hi, you make uh, the trip guy with a normal name? <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Go for the Eyes. Double damage. There we go. Your projectile hits unerringly at the target's eyes. The target's, target must attempt a fortitude save. <laughs> uh, against a standard DC oh, equal to your level plus 10. Oh. Uh, Usually I'll, we set the DC. I'll yeah. tell you right now, your level is 10, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's 20, yeah. and I roll the 20 exactly. Yeah, shouldn't it be my class DC? It should not be that. It should be your class DC. My class DC. Yeah, they don't determine the DC. Yeah. Okay. We do. And your class DC is going to be 25, 27? 27. Yeah. All right, so then it's a fail. So it's a failure. Yeah. Uh, bl- blind for 1d4 round. Wow. Yeah. Blind. Who's blind now? This is the guy menacing me on the other chain. Yes, yeah. blind fighting the blind. <laughs> nice job on All right. that uh, lesser alchemist fire. It yeah. did a great deal of damage. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, that's 26 points of damage. Yeah. Whoa. Two points of persistent damage as he is on fire, and he's blind! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! What'd you say, 26 points of damage? Correct. Okay, and then he's got persistent fire, which will tick on his jaw. And now I gotta roll my save for the poison, right? Yes, you do. Thank you for being honest. (laughs) What did you roll? Uh, I rolled a... That's fortitude... Hey, why don't you be more I am looking? <laughs> 28. That is a success. Okay. Okay. So you will move from stage two back to stage one, Huge. which will make you clumsy one, and you will still take uh, seven points of poison. Okay. If you succeed again, you will. Uh, this will have run its course. And you're done, right? Uh, that's it. Okay. It is now Eris's turn. Um, I'm going to... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Is that going to be a Is that your battle now? cry? <laughs> <But>. <laughs> That's your battle cry. 
one action, you make that silly sound. No, 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 no. Um, so else? the guy swinging from the chains uh, that we haven't messed with yet is exactly 30 feet away from me, which is in range for me to be able to demoralize uh, him if I want. So that's what I want to try to do. Um, I want to like see maybe his other friend that's hanging from the chains has his eyes burned out. So I'm like, you're next, you chain swinging scallywag. Um. <laughs> Nobody talks to me like that. <laughs> he shrivels Please. in fear. <laughs> There's a child here. Please. Uh, so I roll my intimidate against your will DC, and let me just get my okay. Let me my get my face. will so DC high, gonna be ready. Big math. That's a 31. Whoa. Whoa. Is that a fail or a crit fail? Uh, that is a uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a regular success. Oh, it is? Well, you're frightened one. Oh, wait, no. If I succeed, you're frightened one. Ah, no. Oh. Why did you say that horrible thing to so me? So, wait, your will DC is 31? No, you got it. No, you rolled higher than my will DC. Oh, regular, see? regular success. Regular success. I win. Yeah, you win. <laughs> yes. Okay. You won. You're frightened one. Right. I think I messed this up in Chicago. Yeah, I, start, used, I feel like I always. I used confused. bad terminology and it just threw everything it's off the rails. It's infected this table. It's really yeah, this happened. table. I, yeah, it's a proximity uh, effect. Keep it away from me and Joe, who are perfect. Yeah, you guys are perfect over there. Don't come nice over. Nice thing about this side is rules accuracy. No, yep. yeah, no question. With our brains combined, we make one person. That's right. And, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Between Rule, you, you share one brain. That yeah. is for sure. Rules accuracy. And math accuracy. That's right. Up top. Down low. <laughs> We're the best of the biz. All right. Do you have anything else, Eris? Um, yeah. So that was one action. With my other two actions, on that one that I frightened, I want to cast Agonizing Despair. Oh, oh yes. So that sounds so good. Please yes. make no. a will save. A will save, huh? Yeah. All right. I rolled a... Shit. Wow, you're uh, ice did you roll? cold, did you roll? Ice cold ice all cold. week. 19. Oh! That's a crit fail! Oh! Yeah! Exactly a crit fail! You're as cold as ice! You're willing! So you take double damage and now you're frightened three. Oh! oh! Wow. All right, here we go. Son of a penis. 26 points of damage. Ah! Wow. wow. And you're frightened three. You should just Why run can't away. you just admit when you're Dude, dead? when that happened, like, your mind just tumbles down this deep well of dread, like, so deep that it's painful for you. Why? Uh. <laughs> Why? No one has ever talked to me like that. I called you a scallywag, and you were like, No! Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 My father was a scallywag. <laughs> <laughs> he left when I was a child and you reminded me of it. <laughs> All right, it's Ethel's turn. Try and take it in under 17 minutes. Okay, Ethel's sight comes, returns to him. Yes. Yes. All right, so when last we left, left Ethel... <laughs> when last we left when Ethel... When last we left Ethel... <laughs> when last we left Ethel, he had leapt from the catwalk onto the chain. So his momentum is, was carrying him forward towards this guy. What I would like to do is try to, I'm gonna release the chain and try to grapple this other guy. Whoa! Ooh, Ooh showing off with athletics. All right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna basically, instead of grabbing the chain, I'm gonna try to grab the guy and maybe my weight will drag him off. Pretty off. wild thing to do with no bottle caps. I've got one. You do not? <laughs> you can't just like wade into my sheet and remove bottle caps. I just did. <laughs> it's still there. Um, okay, so this is going to be an athletics check against your fortitude DC. Okay. And I do have a free hand this time because I left my hatchet behind. With you it. fail. Oh, right. You will fall. Yes. To your death. Uh, Five feet? Hurt. I mean, it's like, what is it? It's 20 feet. 20 feet. 20 feet. It's 20 feet. Yeah, it's more than 20 feet. Oh, yeah, because I was like, why'd your little guy jump down there with no problem? 20 feet. And remember, my wall does nothing. My meat wall. This is bullshit. My meat wall's huge. I'm back to being mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kate. <laughs> Roll your damn check. Oh no! Oh no! He, he got I would, him. I would like to turn in my bottle cap. The economy. Let's dissect hot. this bottle cap for a second. When did you get this cap? I don't your remember. Your first show back was Boston. 
Don't you, don't you hide. He's we asleep. need to keep receipts for these? Like, no, I don't need to show receipts. I'm showing receipts. Your first show back was Boston. Any caps that weren't used in Boston, reset. The next show was Chicago. Since you can't, went to Chicago. You can't you retroactively reset my bottle caps. Let me finish. You went to Chicago with one cap, and that cap carries over because the uh, combat has carried over. If you want to use that bottle cap, you use it. But I hope you choke on it. I'm going to use the bottle cap. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's going to be a 36. <laughs> Against what? My fortitude DC? Fortitude DC. That's a critical success. Oh! Yeah! Okay. Critical threat. Critical threat. Critical. 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 critical threat. Let it be known. After today, no more bottle caps for the rest of the year. <laughs> okay, you I'm are. Giving them to my real children. <laughs> you are. You are now restrained. Uh, you have the flat-footed and the immobilized conditions, and you can't use any actions without the attack or manipulate traits, except to attempt to escape or force open your bonds. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, oh my God. First action. Uh, second, second action, I would like to... I mean, didn't you fly over to that guy? Yeah. Okay. Well, I wasn't moving. I'm, on the, I'm the chain is moving. Yeah, that's cool. Cool oh. that you can sleep with yourself by giving yourself free actions and free caps. <laughs> I'm going to issue a dazing blow, which is I have a, I have a, I have a, he- a creature grabbed. Okay. In this case, restrained. Uh, and I pummel him, hoping to stagger them. So I make a melee strike against the creature you have grabbed. It will take the map. Uh, and then the weapon damage is bludgeoning damage, and then you have to attempt a fortitude save against your class DC, my class DC, and yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because you said keep it under 17 minutes, and we're well, at you, like 15. Here we are. Bet. Right. Great. <laughs> See you. In- uh, that is going to be a 33 to hit. That's a hit. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to take some damage. Smokes. All right, so that's 19 physical, or 19 bludgeoning. Okay. And six cold. Uh, yes. Uh, and then you Your embrace. It's so cold. Make a fortitude save. This is your sixth action. This is all part of the same action. It's got to be a fail. I mean, I'm just ter- 23. That is a fail. You are stunned, too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. And I mean, then with, with my third action, I would like to do this. I, I've got him. Ra- I'm like holding the guy wrapped around, and we're swinging from this chain. I would like to go and try and pull him off the chain. Yeah. I mean, he's stunned. I'll roll whatever. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll uh, athletics. Okay. Do you want me to take the map, the double map? Yeah. This would be an attack. Okay. I'm giving this action the attack trait. Uh, it's probably gonna fail with a 19. 19. Yeah. We'll say you both like slide a little bit down the chain. <laughs> uh, so he is. But he knows what's coming. He knows what's <laughs> coming. So you're stunned, or he's stunned too. Jeepers. All right. Well, it is the other one's turn. The one that is uh, demoralized over here. What is he? Frightened three? Frightened, Frightened three. three. Brutal. <laughs> All right. He sees his friend. His friend is a lost cause. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Cutting and running. I like to imagine Ethel's face is buried in the guy's stomach. <laughs> and I'm just kind of holding him around his waist. Are you giving him a like. Motorboat. Son of a bitch. Summon his orbit. Get in there. Who's a big boy? Are you trying to tickle him off the chain? <laughs> now I imagine the guy's like cackling, laughing because you're tickling him. And he's like, stop, stop. Yeah, that's that's the form his stunned is taking. That's oh, <laughs> yeah, stop, stop. My weakness. <laughs> so you were saying his friend hopes he dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then what does he do? All right, so he's going to uh, he's going to swing the chain over and attempt to touch you, uh, Ethel. Moi? Yeah. Do you want to <laughs> take an act of attack of opportunity and fall into the water? Or do you want to continue holding this? Was it ten foot long chains? I continue going. (laughs) (laughs) Give me a uh, fortitude save. Okay. Uh, Thirty-five. I like the way you said that. (laughs) Thirty-five. Thirty-five. All right. So that is going to be. uh, You're going to take nine points of damage. Is that because I rolled a success? 
Yes, it's because you rolled a success. Because of my juggernaut ability, that's considered a critical success. Boom! <laughs> Just keep laughing. <laughs> He's so laugh. mad. So All right. <laughs> it's so fun killing your characters. God, are you enjoying your fun? Because it's her turn now. Yeah. <laughs> Get. You can feel that pendulum swinging the other way. <laughs> What you gonna do, Suki? All right, so Suki, if we remember, has these dark storm clouds up in this area, in a 20-foot area, and they're still going, and she is going to sustain that spell, lightning storm, and she's going to cast out with her hand another lightning bolt on, let's just say, the frightened three John. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Really nice. And messed. nice use of the word John. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Approval from Joe. Oh, my God. All right, so <laughs> I meant that in a good way. I meant that in a good way, yeah. <laughs> you need to make a reflex, basic reflex save. Basic reflex save. You got it, sister. I'm switching dice here. Uh, basic reflex. All right, there's a nat 17. How about a 34? Okay, that, yeah. So that's a, you succeed. You don't critically succeed. Okay. So you'll take half damage. Give me that so half that's, dam. Hold on. I'm just going to do an online roller because it's faster for all of these dice. <laughs> <laughs> for so many dice. Oh. <laughs> so many dice. 40 damage. Oh! What are you about? You what? rolled 80? I rolled my Halved. 4 d12. Halved. Halved. Sorry. 20. 20. But that was a high roll. I got 12 oh. and an 11. That's, and really good. that's a really good roll. All right. Sorry. I got very excited. So that's 20 for you. So that's one action sustaining that spell. And she yells out like, Atticus is weird. Something's wrong. Aldo, are you okay? No, I'm fine. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. Oh, I'm <laughs> super clumsy. I need help. Help me, please. How, how down are you? <laughs> Very down. I don't feel good about myself at all, to be frank. <laughs> help. I could use a hug and a nice pep talk. Everyone is being so weird. <laughs> Everyone's being so rude to me. <laughs> 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 Aldo, Aldo, come this way. There are so many hands. To no, hug. I don't know. There any are so hands. many hands. Don't to listen hug. to him. He's super fucked up. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> so, with one hand, she casts that lightning bolt. And with the other hand, she reaches out to Aldo and she's going to cast a fourth level heal. Uh, that is going to be 50 points back to oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. holy shoot. Holy shit. And she looks crazy. Her hair is flying like the wind is blowing in. She's just holding both her arms out, casting spells. Wow. And she then she says, we're going to have to put Atticus down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it this round, but one of you needs to take it. You gotta kill him. Oh, she, you? She, she told me we gotta kill one him. One of out. you must do this. One of you must do this. Uh, and that's my turn. And then Pepsi slithers in for no reason. <laughs> Put him on the map. And you're sure it's 50 points of healing? Yes. Okay. Yep. Dude, fourth Guaranteed level. Guaranteed you did that correct. Fourth level. I get a plus 32 and it's 4d8. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That brings me back up to full, so thank you. Yeah. Wow. Well, All right. the thing is. Oh, not I feel a, like a hundred dollar a Not a cleric. <laughs> I can't cure your, your poison, but I can at least keep you up, so. Thank All right. It is Atticus's turn. Atticus, you're standing at the end of this plank. There's a ladder that leads down. You can see, not only does it lead directly into the pit, but it leads to like a ledge that kind of goes around the pit. So it's not like you have to go straight in. You could, if you wanted to climb down, uh, get to the floor of the chamber. What do you want to do? Hands grasping. He hears Suki say, we have to put Atticus down. Uh, and seeing these hands, like, shakes it off, snaps out of it. What am I doing? Uh, Don't put me down. <laughs> He's gonna uh, turn, eyes wild, back to the battlefield, see the uh, just wild fight going on below him, and is going to move back along, stumbling along uh, the catwalk. 
until he's kind of just over this Darrow that shot a hand cro- cro- crossbow at him, but Atticus may not even know that the guy shot one at him. It's just the closest enemy combatant that he sees. Yeah. Uh, and he just looks and leans over this guy and is just going to uh, uh, pull a projectile from, you know, like the uh, one of these chains, basically, and just shoom, and smash the dude's face with it. It's like an old Apple keyboard. Yes. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> An old Apple keyboard. So this projectile comes flying at the dude's head. Uh, that is a 26. 26, to hit. I believe, is a miss. I believe it would be two. So, and it just it misses him. And that's Shatters. Letters everywhere. Yes. And that's your turn. That is my turn. All right. It is the restrained Darrow's turn. Can I cast spells while I'm restrained? I can tell you this because I just looked it up. No. Can't use... Because <laughs> it uses the manipulator. I can't make yeah. gestures, right? Unless you can... Basically, you can attempt to escape. I bet you if I had a spell that only had a verbal John, I could do it. Sure. But sure. like three of those exist in this dumb game. Maybe do feather fall? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Might not be the worst thing in the world. All right. So this is horrible. Also, you're stunned too. So you're stunned. You lose two actions. You have one action. Have one action, yeah. So I can't. I can't. Do and now you're. Lot. And after this, you're stunned. Nothing. Even if I had a verbal spell, that would be. Uh, I wouldn't have the action for it. Okay. Uh, free action. He pees himself, and you feel it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is that his stomach? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was pointing up, and he yeah, peed it's all over coming. His it's in his way. It's tucked into his waistband, and it's <laughs> yes. up. He had an erection, and. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is sweaty, you <laughs> say to yourself. <laughs> and spraying everywhere. Sweaty and salty. <laughs> All right, he... <laughs> what am I going to do here? It's a spellcaster. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to escape your grasp. Great. <laughs> Good luck. Godspeed. 28. Fail. <laughs> he pees a little more. It is round 17. <laughs> I'm is, having a great time. It is the guy <laughs> in the water. Keyboard just flew past his head. <laughs> he is going to fire another crossbow bolt. Actually, yeah, I'm going to fire it at Atticus, because they seem to be the ones that are fighting here. You're in the fight. And his ally did just say they had to put him down. <laughs> That's true as well. I wasn't talking um, to you. I was talking to my own people. <laughs> Don't shoot I'd him. I'd like to... Uh, <laughs> I'd like to pitch. I'd like to pitch you. Okay. If you don't like it, just say no. Okay. 20 feet higher on this catwalk, I think he gets a little cover. Ooh. Soft cove. He's a little soft cove? A little soft cove. He's at an advantageous position from a ranged attack. Give yourself plus one to your AC. You got it, buddy. 39 to oh. hit. Son of a pee. <laughs> <laughs> that is a critical hit. Oh. Some rocks. Natty 18. Yeah. Oh and I knew by giving Good for that. you. You crit the wizard. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. He's a big man. <laughs> oh, look at the big man over here. Oh, yeah. Strutting around <laughs> campus. I'm going to take... I nine. like his new tactic. What are you going to do? Hit the wizard? Ah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Stab me? <laughs> you only take nine points of piercing damage, but I need a fortitude save. Oh. Was that double DiMaggio? Uh, oh, yeah, because right. I'm sorry. So 18 points of damage. Okay. And a points. fortitude. A save. Fortitude. And he oh, reloaded, this so this is his second action. poison. Yeah, same poison that is coursing through Aldo's vein. Come on. Come on. Do you want to use I the one die? vein. <laughs> Who said that? How dare Come on. you? How dare you? I laugh in your face, sir. <laughs> 35. Oh! Oh! That is a critical success. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Woo! Gateway Joe! Gateway Joe! Gateway Joe! Gateway Joe! I approve. Love it. Wow. Gateway Joe. I was wondering, I didn't know if they 
do anything. I was St. Louis Joe. It's kind of weird. It's perfect. I love that gateway today. Maybe it's just too much martini. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It looks like an alien built it. It yeah. does. If you're standing like right at the bottom of the column. Also, if you get right, like your chest right up against it and look up, it looks like a Mario Kart level. Yeah. <laughs> like I felt like I could just be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that what you did? Is that what you did? You walked up to the monument and put your chest on it? I'm telling you, Kate, tomorrow if you get a chance before your flight, just All right. All why don't right. we why don't we all go it's do amazing. it tonight when we I get back to the hotel? We should yeah. Do it Yes. Like 2 a.m. Sure but how will we no. lurking around? How will we find it? He's it's right. Not it's not up. lit up at night. How so will we find no it? I'll, I'll use my find. flashlight. It's not there at night. No not one can there. find it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave in ten minutes and go to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> you actually are. You're almost late for your flight. Hey, yeah, I know. You really. You should go soon. I hate you guys. With his last action, he moves uh, through the water here and goes over to the ladder to start climbing up. I'm sorry. Uh, where did he go? Did oh. he go up in the map? Oh, yeah, by the hole. The he's by the hole? Yeah, he's by the oh, hole. Ah, there he is. The the Aldo's <laughs> turn. He's on the bottom rung of that ladder. That's so embarrassing. Aldo, like all his wounds were healed by Sookie. And he's just like, oh, but he's, he's so affected by this poison, but all his, all his wounds are gone. He's just like, oh, well, I feel great. Oh, I feel like a wombat on the bomb, wombat stay. And... Um, <laughs> He's not, he's is it not Wombat's okay? day already? They've got their own holiday. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna throw a uh, another. He's gonna throw a lightning bottle of lightning at the guy uh, further to the right of okay. the one that Ethel is grappling. The frightened fellow, Mister Frightly, you scaredy cat. You afraid of a few lightning bombs? Are you? Yes. All right. Well, that's a 27 to hit, mate. That's a hit. Yay. Nice. All uh, right. That is a total grains. Total of... I need to do more prep work. <laughs> <laughs> that is a grand total of 17 points of damage. He's now flat-footed. How many points of damage? Uh, what did I say? 17. 17. He's 17 dead. 17 points He's dead. Yeah! He's like, no, no, I told my wife I'd be back home later. Ah, and he falls. Splash. He falls to the water and just starts slinking back, slinking back, <laughs> slinking back. No, my loot. And then he goes down the hole. Okay. Fuck. And then he's going to shake his little tush on the catwalk. Whoa. Yeah. Where? Up, uh, up to Atticus. And he's just like, no, my friend, don't do anything that that guy told you to do. No, I'm, I'm, I'm snapped out of it. Suki, Kill he's him! Up no. <laughs> Suki, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine sorry, now. my friend. Oh. And I'm going to grapple him. No, oh, sorry. I thought you were please. being weird. No, 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 no. I'm okay now. I'm okay now. Tackle him. I'm okay now. Natural 20. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Aldo grabs you with all of his might. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> The other one's coming up the ladder. The other one's coming up the ladder. No! Really? Shh, shh. The other one's coming Sorry, up the ladder. Stop moving. Go to sleep. Oh, it's been so long since I've been held. He starts <laughs> choking you. <laughs> All right, so you hold this wet rat. That's right. <laughs> and it is Eris' turn. Okay, listen. I thought of something really cool to do. And I'm going to try to do it. So I have... What, what did you give me? Your... A battle axe? My hatchet. My, your hatchet? I cast tele telekinetic projectile on the hatchet. Oh. Oh, and no. And try to throw it at the guy. Atticus? Oh, no. At Atticus. At Atticus. No, <laughs> at um, the guy that <laughs> Ethel's trying to bring down. And it's risky because Ethel's holding him. Oh, my God. It's true. I, but it's really cool. It is cool. Very cool. It's also risky because you could permanently lose his weapon knowing you're GM. But no. I think you should do it. I think you should No. Do it. Here's what I'll say. If it hits him, it will bury in him. And there's a chance he could get it back. If it misses, it lands in the water, and we just saw what that body did. It's a heavy hatchet. I don't think it would float away. I'm talking to Kate. 
Shut up and hit you. <laughs> Six people understand it. Uh, yeah, if, if you hit it, it will bury the hatchet in his chest. If you critically fail, I'm going to say it hits Ethel. I really critical. think, I really feel good about this. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, she has a good feeling. Let her cook. Do it, do it. I had such a good day today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. She's so been weird go since wrong. she went to that museum. Yeah. All right. Nothing so can go the hatchet wrong. is on your person. You gotta say first action. You gotta draw the hatchet. No, I'm she's, holding she's it. Using magic. He gave Are you already holding it. It's okay. also yeah. a telekinetic projectile. It's also a telekinetic projectile. Thinking I don't need the to hatchet it. over to the. I don't need to hold it. It's to telekinesis. Need to think. That's how telekinesis it's works. Tele- it literally means you're moving it with your mind. Have you I ever seen even, Carrie? I don't even need to defend myself. I've got you guys. It feels so good. Throw your hatchet with your mind. Throw your mind. Mind hatchet. hatchet. Mm, oh no. Twenty-five to hit. He's grabbed. He's grabbed. He's grabbed. He's got a lot of buffs. He's Otherwise, I would use my bottle he's cap. He's stunned, and he's grabbed. Do you think I should use my bottle cap? No. No. I feel no. like I'm good. Too late. Too late. Grabbed. Hold on. I'm looking up here. Grabbed gives a minus seven to AC. That's not true. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's minus 10. I just looked it's it minus up. Minus two to AC. I think it's... He's not grabbed. He's restrained. Right. So it's oh. 17. <laughs> it's minus two to AC. <laughs> Stun doesn't... It's just not true. <laughs> and he's stunned, so he's stupid. Not true, madam. He's stupid. <laughs> All right. What'd you roll? 26. You just said 25 a second ago. No, she missed Oh, so 25. His ace. Why did you ask? Why did you ask if you knew what she I said? I just want to see if she was a liar. Like <laughs> after. His I'm AC. I'm not a liar. I'm a dumb girl. While <laughs> restrained. No, no. Is 25. <laughs> Why is that cue up Mbop? Because, because Kate's favorite she likes song that song. Oh, that I know she likes that song. Mbop video where they mind throw a hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> check, oh out, check out that guy's Twitter. He's got some right. cool ideas. No, no, no. Oh. So she magically oh. chucks the hatchet at this guy, hits him. It's so cool. Uh, that's 5d6 plus 5, which is a total of 22 points of damage. Okay. Bam! And then with her final action, she wants to yell out and cast a little bit of guidance on Ethel and be like, you got to do the raspberries out. You, you know, you do them to me. You, you'll get him. I trust you. Whoa! I mean, I mean... I mean, you, you got it. <laughs> In response... <laughs> the hatchet flies back into your hand. It's, oh. a, re- it's a returning hatchet. Oh! oh. She, she That's well. ridiculous, but amazing. It's amazing, yeah. Ethel, it's your turn. You have urine on your lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how you just let this play out like the hatchet was going to be lost, too. Yeah. Aw. It's fun. <laughs> if I was giving out bottle caps, I might give you one. <laughs> I'm working so hard to do... Come on. I'm uh, no let's... bottle caps until 2025. Bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap. I, 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 didn't br- I didn't bring any. You're being a real Grinch, Troy. 2025. We'll patriarchy, talk. exactly. Yeah, it's a patriarchy. <laughs> uh, he's still restrained until the end of my turn. <laughs> First action, I'm going to uh, do another dazing blow with the Warhammer. Dazing blow, huh? Uh, that's a 39 to hit. There you go. That's a critical hit. Yeah! You dazing blow critical the shit threat, out of that guy. Critical threat, critical, <laughs> critical, critical threat. It has been established that he was pointing up out of his waistband. <laughs> <laughs> and you critically succeed on a dazing blow. <laughs> oh, he's dazed. <laughs> oh. He oh, also oh, takes 40 dazed. points of bludgeoning damage and six points of cold. Oh, 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 oh my All right, God. he dies in your arms. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I just died in your arms tonight. Must well, have been something you said. I mean, Should have walked away. Whole thing. Should have walked away. Uh, Ethel is not holding on to the chain. He was holding on to the guy. Okay, oh, so you let him fall? I fall with him. Oh! Wow. Snap, I'm crackle. assuming he doesn't hold on to the chain as he's dead. No, he lets go, and the both of you fall. But he did cast Featherfall. 
Yeah, he did yeah, cast on the last round. <laughs> Established. Uh, one it was verbal the one action. spell he could cast. All right, a couple things are going to happen. You're going to take ten points of bludgeoning damage. Will I? Yes. Uh, because of my catfall feet. Oh wow! Oh, oh, oh. oh wow! Dude just makes up feet. He just makes up feet. I treat this fall as ten feet shorter. Wow. Leave it to you to be I'm ten feet too shorter. Sexy for my love. <laughs> too sexy for my love. Loves. You got everything over there. I'm a spider. <laughs> All right, so 10 feet shorter. All right, so you're going to take five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. But you're going to land prone unless your cat thing makes you land on, like, a cat. It makes you land on a cat every yes, time. you land on a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, that, that cat in the water broke your fall. <laughs> <laughs> that furious, wet cat <laughs> down under you. Row! <laughs> Start clawing you. <laughs> Can I roll acrobatics or athletics to try to land on my feet? How many actions do you have left? Two. Sure. You get a plus one to that, too. Oh, DC yeah. 70. <laughs> a lot of water. Is it ac- acrobatics or athletics? Uh, acrobatics. You're trying to do something cool. Uh, I rolled terribly. Uh, so that's a 20. Dirty 20. Yeah, I'm going to say you fall prone. Of course you do. Splash. 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 You only take five points of damage, but you are laying prone in the water. In some sludge? Yeah. Now, what do you have? One action left? Yep. Okay, what do you want to do? Stand up. I don't want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, all right. Well, let me reconsider. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, I stand up. That work? <laughs> Let's compromise. <laughs> Let's have a Missouri compromise. I could have I could have insisted on a reflex save to grab the chain, but I was trying to play it cool. Yeah, you're very, very cool, Matthew. That's what everybody always says. That's what everyone says about me. Oh, <laughs> all right, all no, my I'm... middle. That's all. What all my middle school, let's call them classmates, said about me. Friends. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Uh, all right, here's what I need. You land in that water prone. I actually, instead of standing up, I'll let you stand up. Maybe. I need an athletics check because the rushing water is starting to push you towards the pit. Whoa. I was stalling because I was looking for the thing here in the john. Uh, So athletics check. I have the DC here to try and swim against the car. Terrible roll. 26. You're fine. (laughs) So that is a critical success. All right. So you can... It's not a critical success. Oh, because it it is. My my juggernaut. You're cheating ways. All right. So you stand up. I hate this game. (laughs) All right, so that's Ethel. Uh, There is, what, one enemy left, but that dude's dead, so it goes right to Suki's turn. Suki, that guy is climbing up the ladder near the pit. What do you do? Uh, Suki is going to move uh, up past Atticus and slap him on the way. Just to make sure he's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Are you yourself again? Are you yourself again? Uh, Yes. Yeah, you sound like this. Okay, that's fine. That's what someone who is my control would say! Continues to choke you. I don't know if you all know this, but Joe's favorite thing in the world about role playing games is PvP. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loves it. Loves it. All right, um, so what do you do, Sue? Can I can I see the guy? Is he up at like can I like see his little head poking out? No, he's he's like down at the bottom of that ladder. You should just climb down there and fight him. <laughs> Unless you're afraid. Uh, you know what? No, sorry. Then I'm not going to do... I'm going to delay. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to delay. Just going to delay. Okay. Uh, then it would be Atticus's turn. Atticus, you are uh, subdued by Aldo. <laughs> <laughs> Aldo, thank you so much. Um, but he's, com- he's coming around the side. Uh, Atticus, he'll also delay. Okay. Yeah, wait till we see this guy again. Yeah, maybe he'll well, fall. I don't know. It is that guy's turn. He sees his friends fall, and he just uh, slides down the ladder into the pit. <laughs> Whoa. Sneaky, sneaky. Holy shit. And I'm going to say you're out of combat. Yeah, we yeah. did it. Okay. We did it, St. Louis. Yeah. You've done it. You've won the adventure. And just just <laughs> fail. Do you all still have Atticus? I can snap him out of it. And Ethel comes up and Ethel comes up with his hammer. Hit him. <laughs> Hit him as hard as you can. No, I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. <laughs> Ethel, I want you to show me what you do here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, dun, 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 how dun, dun, dun. low do the chains extend? 
Um, you'd have to jump pretty high. They're 20 I, feet above you. Wait. Wait. The catwalk is 20 feet above me. Yeah, and the, the bottom of the chain is level with the catwalk. Okay. Going to leave. I know. I have a... I have a feeling where this is going. So Ethel is going to move up to the ladder. Okay, show me how you move there. Step by step. And I'm going to go from this step to... Gr- I'm going to reach over and like kind of step forward and grab the ladder and swing myself around. Okay, do you walk like along like a straight line from where you were just standing to the edge and then turn around? I kind of go, go... I stepped here, grab the ladder, and swing up onto it. Along what? Along... Okay. What are you walking like? Along? Did you walk uh, from your original space? From What's your original every space square you cross? Okay. Yeah, That's me. Every Something space. terrible is going to happen. Yeah, too many people are talking at once. So just do what you're going to do. Okay, no, nothing happened. You're fine. You get. It. <laughs> uh, yeah, I menace. I come up to menace a- a- Atticus with the hammer. Prove it to us. Prove you're not mind controlled. Uh, uh, say something only Atticus would say. Do it. Um, your wife doesn't love you. Die. <laughs> I let him go instantly. I let him go. Let him go instantly. I lower my hand. Atticus, uh, Ethel just sits down cross-legged on the ground. I'm... Ethel, I... I am sorry. I am... Eris walks up behind It just sort of... It just sort of came out. And Atticus. Slaps you. Oh. oh. Me or, Ad, or Atticus? Eris walks up behind Atticus and slaps him. Oh. <gasps> Spawn. Spawn. Oh, sorry. Are you in your right mind yet? Ooh. Yes, I said as much. Okay, just making sure. I push him real hard. <laughs> he falls into the wall. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> These athletics checks will not go as well. <laughs> Take 20 points of damage. <laughs> what was wrong with you? I don't know. They, they said that there was something below, something that would help us. And for a moment, I, I don't know, I believed it. You said you saw hands. What were you talking about? Dozens of them, hands grasping from below. It's obviously something horrible happened to someone or someones. But I don't know. There very well may be answers down there to our questions. There is some dark secret down there, and perhaps it is a secret we need. The ladder goes down to a platform. The platform rings the hole. There is a chance we could go down the ladder and simply stand and observe. It is not such a great commitment to simply go down the ladder and look. But it does seem that some horrible thing has happened here. I'd also like to point out, now that you're out of combat, there is a passageway here to the south. Mm. Oh. Oh. You guys came in through this little hole in the wall over Shma. But over Shmi Ooh. is a, uh, a little passageway leading to the south. Let's do that first. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's no us. grasping hands in a pit of darkness over in this direction. So. Yeah. Yeah, you're, 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 you're probably right. Yeah. So. Can we uh, also just do a perception on the room? Oh, yeah. So yes. You notice anything else? Uh, 29 for Ethel. 29. Pretty 20, good. 28 for Suki. Pretty good. Suki, 28. 26 for Atticus. Very good. Very good. Uh, 34 for Aldo. What is your perception? Oh, I Aldo. Aldo? What are you, like, uh, are you an expert, master, legend? Uh, I'm an expert. Expert, okay. And what about anybody else? 20. 20. You guys don't see anything important. Um, I also, uh, can we do some healing? I'm down about 89 hit points. There's no time. Uh, I can treat wounds on you if we have time, but it, we may not. Uh, yeah. I, I, oh, what about my poison? Is that? Oh. oh. What about um, the poison? Thank you for asking. Give me a save, Aldo. If you save, you'll be fine. If you fail. Um, I'm going to attempt to aid him on this. Okay. That's fine. Can I? Okay. Trained in medicine. Is it only... Uh, As am I, I'm a master in medicine. Oh, treat poison. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Treat poison. And I believe the uh, it's going to be against the poison's DC, I would think. So... Wait, quick, wait. Quick, what? Oh, isn't, okay. Isn't it just DC 20? Aldo, you, you're not looking well. Um, no, not for treat, I believe. 
A medicine check against the poison's DC. After you attempt to treat poison for a creature, you can try. You can't try again until after the next time the creature attempts to save against the poison. I got a success, I believe. Well, that's a thirty-one. That's a regular success, okay. right? Success, yeah. A plus two. So I'll give him a plus two, plus two to your fortitude save, Aldo. What? Uh, that is a twenty-nine. You're all right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Joe and Norse Foundry. Thank you for the reminder for all your random number generating needs. It's Norse Foundry. You're all right, LaRusso. You guys are out of combat. You're a little beat up. Healing, please. Do you want me to treat wounds on you? Healing. Yeah, I'm 89 points down. Uh, is anybody else down? I'm a little um, down. I'm a little depressed. Not no. you. Stop drinking. From that fight. <laughs> oh, I'm geez. just wondering also, like... Do we need to rest spell-wise? Why did I come? Or no? I mean, I am running out of spells, but it seems not great to sleep in this weird water. Well, <laughs> I might have something. Oh. I can whip up a place that might be safe for us to relax in for a while. Really? What? Yeah. What? Cozy cabin. <laughs> what? Cozy so cabin. I can like create a safe space for us to uh, hang out in for like twelve hours, if that helps. I mean, or if we want to wait and do that. It... This is a real spell. <laughs> cozy cabin. Yeah, cozy. I can shape a cabin twenty feet on each side and ten feet high. What a dumb name. Advanced <laughs> Player's Guide, page two hundred and seventeen. That is third party. <laughs> <laughs> I cast cozy cabin, <laughs> and everything is fine. It has the structure trait. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like a simple hut. It has cots, a uh, small fireplace. We can cook in there. For a want, chamber pot. Relax. Um, it withstands itself in like hostile weather conditions and cold and stuff like that. So I can cast it over the water because I'm my, assuming it's like a chicken feet. Hunt, my immersion, you know? my immersion is gone. <laughs> the fact that you looking like just cast a sweet cabin in the middle. It's a simple cabin. This, but, it's a simple cabin. And we yeah, can't the, leave it or the spell will end. As long as we're inside, though. Yes, yeah, we can be inside for 12 hours. I mean, this the is great. The question I'm, is, do we need it? Do you need it now? now. Well, the, uh, quick, this is like this is also a concept that goes back to, again, original Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah. Warden Kanan's Magnificent Mansion was a very yes. similar kind of spell. Yeah. Where it's like you create this extra dim dimensional space where you can like rest for 12 hours. And now it's like the hut. Lehman's tiny hut is also... A yeah, that, thing. yeah, that too, yeah. Uh, I... I love a cozy cabin, and I'll never say no. Also, Ethel, and I touch you on the head. You have 39 more hit points. Thank you. I could use a bunch more of that. Okay, you just have to wait 10 more minutes. I can do it again. Uh, yeah, I can also do it to myself. I, I can do it to you again. I'll do it again. No, it, it, it doesn't matter, I, I think. I think. What? I think you're, he's immune to it until you do it again anyway, because it's only 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I have the 10 minute. I have the continual. And she's more effective oh, right. than yeah, you yeah, are, yeah. so yeah, just... All right, so cozy cabin, hit points. What do you guys want to do? Well, do we? the question is, do we need? Do you guys need the, the rest for spells? Is now the time to do it? I mean, I could definitely... I am down many spells. Like, would, maybe the next room is fine. Maybe it's not. That's what I'm saying. I'm all for opening the stained glass window and seeing what happens. It's a third level spell. I can cast it, and then, you know, we'll be good. I don't anything. need it. Okay. But happy to do it if... if Aldo, uh, bombs? Like, are you good? Or? I'm. I could use the bomb. I could definitely. Guy's sick use of all this healing talk. I know he's just leaving. Wow. I I could use the rest, but I think like the time factor is also another thing. It's just like if 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 we allow twelve hours to elapse in this world, what would happen? What happens? Right, right, right. Um, I say yes. I say no. <laughs> You don't have you votes. Get, you get a vote, Kate. You should vote. Yeah, and you guys vote. I'll be the tiebreaker. <laughs> give a thumbs up, thumbs down. I give thumbs up. Thumbs down. And then... Ethel, thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs. All right. What the wow. fuck? Why did you just say no well, then? Well, John, there's all, probably only one more room. I, I, do like the ca I do like the cabin idea. I, I like to sit in front I of I want to sit in the cabin, but it's I've like... I've got it in my back pocket in case we ever need it. Suki had started. Can we just go there events. like when we're not exploring a out. dangerous dungeon too? I think the six Whoa. of us should get a cabin. That would be fun. Did anybody? Oh, we that? should. Wait, we what? Should. Everybody, shut up. <laughs> Matthew, continue. I was just saying, I like the, I like a cabin. I like to sit there in the front of the fire and uh, 
sometimes ponder my deficiencies as a human being. My cabin comes with a fire. <laughs> Can we here just keep that in our back pockets for later? Yeah, 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 totally. Um, totally keep that in my back pocket. Is there like a, like a are they like warm furs? Um, I mean, it's, it's simple. We can maybe whittle something to so make it more cozy. Generally in warm cabins, I like to warm up by uh, cozying myself up in some warm furs. I smell sex and <laughs> All right, yeah. let's, uh, let's go to the door to the south. Stop it. I no longer want to Stop go to it. the cabin. I rolled the same. I don't want to go to your filthy cabin. <laughs> I don't want to go to your sex cabin. I don't want to go to your <laughs> sex cabin. It's weird. Filthy third level sex cabin. <laughs> your, your third level sex cabin. <laughs> Thank you. I needed right. a title. I, I opened the door. There's a swing. What's that for? <laughs> Seems odd. It's in the living room. Do you have children? I didn't know you had children. Well, why do you think he's so good with chains? Is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, man. 39 more hit points. <laughs> I rolled the same amount. So. The door to the south. The Thank door you. to the south! <laughs> All right, move your fucking pawns to the tunnel there. This I, weak I can't southern door. Bring Pepsi over. Hello, South Africa. Right, Pepsi, I'll, come. I'll move Pepsi in a second. Ethel, you get to the door leading to the south. What do you do? Listen. Natural two. Oh, shit. <laughs> you hear 20. carnival music. Really, though? Wow. Okay, we cannot go in there. <laughs> the pit it is. Flashback. Oh. Ethel's a child trying to get on the carnival rides. Cotton candy, get your cotton candy. I take, I take my mind, I don't want to go down this road. Hello, room. little boy. You're too short to ride this ride. <laughs> I just realized I'd be asking you to role play a carny and I don't want to go down my road. <laughs> <laughs> Ethel opens the door. <laughs> Terrifying. Whoa. You open what the door. What just happened? And you see a chamber. <laughs> this chamber is boat shaped. Whoa. Filthy water seeps from between the stones of this large chamber. The dripping water and trickling streams echo off the stone walls. It seems empty. To the west is a door that looks similar uh, to the door upstairs where you took the elevator down to the uh, laboratory where you fought the alchemical golem and the ochre jelly. But you didn't see uh, that the elevator went any further down. It looked like it just went from one floor to the next, but you see a very similar elevator door. Uh, there's just moist dampness all around this chamber, moss growing off the walls, and moss that looks like it's been eaten recently, or scraped, perhaps. And there are envelopes and papers lying about on the floor. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> Perception check. Uh, okay, that's better. Uh, 32. Room seems to be empty, except for these envelopes. Can I do a perception on the, what looks like eaten moss? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do we walk into the room? Are we in the room? Yeah, are we yeah. walking in? Uh, yeah, in I'm that af- room. Yeah, afraid I mean, that wa- I'm afraid of that water. Let's go. You were what? I'm afraid of the water. Did you just say you were afraid of water? I send... Do you have rabies? I send... Well, if we're not walking <laughs> in... If we're not walking in, I send an egg. Oh. It, the egg flies in. And I it can, can fly now? Yes, it, yeah, can, it can fly. fly. You sound dumb. God. <laughs> do, do you know how stupid you sound fly. asking that question? I forgot your puppet can fly. <laughs> a puppet, not a puppet. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> all right, so um, you, walk, you all walk in the room and spread out. No, walk. Move no, your pawns. That's not what we just said. All right, look. Send in the puppet. Does anything happen? Send in the clowns. Isn't it rich? <laughs> All right, so Are send in the pop. Send in the pop. But does anything happen? Could you see through its eyes? Um, yeah, I do have a trait to which I can like see through it. <sighs> okay. Do you hear it last on the ground? Stop it. You in? They don't have, air. <laughs> they don't have theater in St. Louis. <laughs> they're not going to get. Sense. They're not going to get these references back. <laughs> It's clearly more of a theater crowd than a sports crowd. 
The sports joke got silence. The theater joke is like, ah, how dare you? Torches and pitchforks. <laughs> What are you doing? Um, yeah, so she sends uh, Egg in, and Eris kind of like goes blank face. Her eyes roll back because she's sharing senses with Egg now. Okay. Um, so Egg oh, yeah, I know when this happens. Slowly flies. <laughs> so weird. So kinky and weird. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't worry. It's normal. Never let my kids. Don't worry, everybody. <laughs> Egg slowly flies in. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, I can sense through Egg's body for one minute any sensory information. Okay, you just, you're, you're looking at this stuff on the walls. You see tracks all over the floor and it looks like there's uh, humanoid tracks and also tracks of like large beasts that uh, leave like grooves in the ground, perhaps serpentine-like beasts. And if you examine the moss, it definitely looks like it is not scraped, but it was eaten because there's little chunks on the floor as well. What do the papers say? Um, Atticus, I think Atticus is... Oh, let's just do it. We got a cozy cabin in our future. <laughs> Atticus is With going furs. to come up like... <laughs> actually, he's kind of fine where he is. He's, he's going to say, Aldo, Pepsi, get closer. <laughs> I will do a simple illusion, a stage trick. Make sure that no one sees us, but stay close. Stay very, very close to me. And he will uh, cast a uh, spell, a trick, from his days on stage, Invisibility Sphere. Ah. So everyone will become yeah, invisible yeah, yeah. as long as you're within 10 feet of Atticus. Okay. And he'll be like, move very carefully, very quietly together. You will not be able to be seen. However, your footsteps will make sounds just as normal. So move carefully. Hmm. I've moved you into the room. Um, and we only have this for 10 minutes, so be effective. You're in the room. You're all invisible. What do you do? Let's inspect the envelopes. Yeah, perception. Um, you can just pick them up and start looking at them. Again, you're in this room now, and you don't see anything. You see traces of beings that were here recently. Beans? Like beans. <laughs> There's <laughs> beans all beans. over the floor. Beans? So, beans? Uh, I'd like to do... Beads? I'd like to do a knowledge check on the tracks themselves to see if I can... I, I can, can identify the creature. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. That would have made these. Uh, can, I, can I do a nature alongside that? Yeah. W what would I do? Does it matter? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Arcana, rolled, local. I rolled a net. Anymore, uh, I rolled a net. Society. I, I rolled a net 20. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Okay. Let's go give it to you. I right, can so turn this off. Here's no, very annoying. The the footsteps of the humanoid creatures <laughs> look consistent with the Darrows. They're small feet. Okay. Ah, okay. The other creatures, it looks like it is some sort of like maybe centipede like creature. I, Ooh, did, roll, I gross. did roll a forty three total. So you, centipede, nothing else. Can't yeah, give me. You wouldn't know the exact name of a creature just by looking at its tracks. Okay. Uh, Seems that's literally exactly, exactly what you would know. Yeah. What if you had wilderness lore? I'm not telling you the name of the creature. Oh, look at Can that. I do, us I do have wilderness lore. That's so <laughs> Can interesting. Can I tell you its weaknesses? No. Just look at the fucking envelopes. Okay. I tell them. <laughs> all right? <laughs> there are envelopes and guys papers all over the floor. <laughs> hey, Troy, the envelopes. How's that plan for the best show of the year going? <laughs> <laughs> We're having a great time. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm having a Not great the show time. I Plus, planned, but here we are. Great. Best day ever. You look at the, the notes and shit on the floor. There are <laughs> records and uh, disparate notes that you, you can try and piece together, but they're, they're ripped. They're torn. They're not like, uh, oh, this is exactly what this is. But you see consistencies uh, in, in sort of phrases. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's no time sorry. skid. I'm sorry. <laughs> You see, you, you see continual mentions of uh, Corgan beer. Payments being made, looks like payments being made from Myacne and Munn to someone named Twain. Twain uh, is Mark? Apparent, apparently... Mark Twain? Not Mark, Mark, Mark Twain. Twain. Someone What's up? Here's St. Louis, Mark Twain. What's up? Twain. Yeah. Yeah, good for you, St. Louis. <laughs> Someone named Twain from Corgan Beer. 
Uh, beer? You're saying beer? B I E R? Yeah, Corgan beer, Corgan buyer, perhaps. Oh, okay, okay. There's some Corgan beer. Corgan beer. I thought it was buying there's beer. Some, I don't there's know. some. I'd like a Corgan beer. Shut up. Right Let now. me tell you the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> there's some mention about skins being cured and prepared. They're not ready yet. I need more supplies. Skins? Skins. I need more Maybe because he's making the um, the mannequin things, whatever the like. You know, Ulysses Robot. Grant, uh, his father was a tanner. That's right. We learned that today. That's right. And he worked at the tannery. He worked as a tanner for a while. It didn't really and take Ulysses, to it. And Ulysses, not a fan of being a tanner. No. He, he wanted to be a president instead. Yeah. It's also notes that say, the sooner I have these supplies from you, the faster I can work. Um, that's it. Can I roll a check on Corgan beer? Sure. Society? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, we move to the next door. I kick them <laughs> on the ground. They don't matter. Okay. Uh, only a 15 society. Is it a city? What is it? It sounds like a city. It sounds like a city, Any, but not one that you're familiar with. Maybe else? I'd be familiar with it, says Aldo. Oh. Well, the guy I? from Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guy from Earth. Anyone been to Corgan Beer? Uh, it's very. Uh, I actually have, I have geography lore. Ah, that's even better. Yeah. Uh, so it's thirty. Oh yeah. And can I just throw in? I happen to get a critical success. A natural twenty. Okay. On a society. All right. So the only two atten- intelligent characters. Not disputing that. Put no. their heads together, and you're like Corgan Beer, Corgan Beer, Corgan Beer, Corgan Beer. That's a city. In the Darklands. Oh. Oh, oh shit. So he needs Are we going to go there? <laughs> no oh, way. Shit. We're going to fight lizard folk. Corgan Beer is like a city, not only in the Darklands, but it's specifically with these high rolls, you know that it's like a series of maze like tunnels located directly under Casimir. Like oh. The closest part of the Dark Lands to Shut Casimir. your oh, This mouth. is so awesome. Like, this is like sort of the end game of the game that I was playing in middle school was like going into uh, the Underdark. The Underdark. So this is like, yeah, this so is awesome. cool. At the same time, you also know Corgan Beer is home to thousands of these Darrow creatures. Yeah. This is yeah. like their society. The city. And yeah. they have like uh, enslaved mongrel men as mongrel men, mongrel men, yeah. monster manual two once again. <laughs> Wrath of the righteous, Wrath of the righteous, Wrath of the yeah. righteous too. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's not a place you can really visit. Although you would know that the, some people have dealings there, and it seems like Mun has some sort of relationship. He's brokered some sort of deal with. Yeah, them. you don't know what skins. Cured, almost oh, yes, ready. There's money create, going back and forth. To create his creatures, but skins of what? I mean, think back to the laboratory. There was like a table. Or possibly he was. I don't want to say it, but cutting up people. You found books on that alchemy, which is taboo. The creation of life, forbidden alchemy. But what is he doing for the Daros, for the society? You don't know. Does. Does the dark silence? We're only invisible for so long. Talking to Troy. <laughs> and at that moment, oh. oh no, no, you become visible. Dun, dun. No, and and nothing happens. Doesn't God happen. damn it! You wasted a spell. I did, but that spell is pretty useless. <laughs> um, for the record, the uh, the water that's coming in. Does this? mean anything? Like, does Suki have any understanding of the layout that we're in? Are we, like, just below sea level? When you you first came to uh, Mayakne Munt's house, this old infirmary, you could see, like, the Blackwood Swamp had overtaken this entire area. Part of the building even looked sunken, so you imagine this is just the trickling from the swamp that overwhelmed this portion of Casimir. Hey, Eris. Hey, 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 yeah. Uh, Can I have that hatchet back? Oh, this? This thing? Here. Oh, thanks. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I know it's cool, right? Yeah. All right. I mean, I'll let you hold it later if you want. <laughs> the hatchet. <laughs> Not everything is innuendo. <laughs> that was, that was, though. That was for sure. That might have been. You <laughs> into, are you into hatchet play? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it, it was 
said that I have both my weapons back. Suki whispers to Aldo behind them as they're talking. They need to fuck. Like, I know, absolutely. it's so exhausted. They Sydney. need to. Fuck already. I'm, I'm sorry. There's a child in the audience. I'm I know. sorry, George. I know. Sydney. Sorry, George. Sydney Marie. <laughs> It's not my name. It's not her, it's not name. her name at all. Sounds like it should be. What? My, my Christian she's name. Jewish. Like, why would her name, middle name be Sydney. Marie? That's just like when you're mad at somebody, but like, Sydney Marie. Troy Marie. <laughs> Joseph Marie. Sydney Gale. It doesn't ring as hard. You're right. No. You guys open up the door here to this elevator, uh, and it's just an empty shaft. I feel railroaded. I'm moving Shut your mouth. along. It's an empty shaft, and you look up and you see the bottom of the elevator in the floor above. Yeah. So there must have been some sort of way to maneuver the elevator all the way down to this level, but there is no way to call it from here. So what do you do? You go back up to the laboratory and move on back to the room that had stairs going up? I think that's a fucking great idea. <laughs> so let's do... There is only one way to go. Oh, yes. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I, I've blacked out. Can I just <laughs> applaud you for such a great, cool decision? <laughs> Do we get a bottle cap for that decision? You know, sometimes before the show, we'll be like, Troy, is there a way we should go to make your life easier? And he refuses to ever answer. It's called integrity, and that's why they pay money to see us. <laughs> integrity! I'm just, hi- I'm just highlighting poopsie on the map. Oh, <laughs> Insulting my character. Oh, little poopsie. Oh, little poopsie. Makes it into poopsie. You can control him now. Oh, thanks. Like, uh, let me just save the settings on that, John. <laughs> there's actually one little room here you didn't check out. Where? Oh. And then there's stairs, right. stairs going up. Kick in the door in the room you didn't check out. Yeah. Oh. Kick in the door. There's an old woman Boom. wearing a sweater that is killed immediately by the fog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, One more stitch! And then she dies. <laughs> Ethel picks up the door. Nothing in here! <laughs> you see blood spreading out from the <laughs> It's slowly. <laughs> blood leaks Sorry. beneath the door. They're making jelly. I, I cracked a jam yeah. in a jar. Must be the jelly room of this old infirmary. Jelly room. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. There's a... Uh, <laughs> There's nothing important in here. Fuck it. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. The small side room, there's a quartet of comfortable horsehair seats arranged around a mahogany table. You know who liked horses? Ulysses Grant. Oh my God. He, big, big horse guy. He turned Whitehaven. He converted Whitehaven from a farm into a uh, place to raise horses. He did. He loved them. You know what, he, you know what else he liked? Reading out loud to his <laughs> wife at night. <laughs> <laughs> Because they didn't have Netflix. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, because women can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, you said that. Sydney, no, no, his wife was like way classier than he was. Oh, good. Anyway, okay. go to the and house. She, you'll figure it out. She also read out loud to him. Oh, I don't know. She what? She also read out loud to him. Th- that's actually very cute. I, I quite like that. For a second, I was like, should I do that? <laughs> then I was like, no, I'll just watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, my wife would get angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> you mess up a word and she's like, that's not how that, you don't say it like that. <laughs> so you guys want to go up the stairs? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right, yes. Upstairs. All right. Everybody wins. Let's go <laughs> up the fucking stairs. Walking. All right, uh, this is going to be a little hairy, not unlike the horse hair in that room. Tell me party order. Ethel. Suki. Pepsi. Kiss. Ethel, Suki, Pepsi. Eris. Eris. <clears throat> Eldo taking up the rear. And then so Atticus would be in front of Aldo. Remember that. No, 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 I said Atticus behind Pepsi. Okay. Don't raise your voice at me. I spoke in a very calm manner. Let's see this room. Oh, shock. Let me describe the situation here. Bookshelves stacked with various books and folders, as well as bizarre curios, line about two, two and a half walls of this wide open room. A sturdy wooden desk, a 
accompanied by a stuffed leather chair, sits in the far uh, northeast corner of the room, while a small table in the opposite corner holds what looks like a taxidermic monkey, posed like it's playing a tiny violin. What? Dude, come on. (laughs) That's pretty tacky, to be honest. What kind of monkey? The taxidermied one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are four in taxidermicus. <laughs> Sorry. There are four incredibly detailed and, and almost look because t- you're the you're up front there, so you're the first one that sees this uh, Ethel. There are four incredibly detailed paintings hanging on each of the four walls of this study. But you get up there first and you see. <laughs> <laughs> North of the room, staircase leading further up. But sitting in the chair is a figure with its back to you. Mm. Oh, this is going to be good. Mm. Um, hunched appears to be what? Male, female. You're not up there. Humanoid. Humanoid? I step into the room. There's a pubic hair on my mic. <laughs> It's tickling your nose. You're welcome. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> a little, <laughs> little early Christmas gift from Matt. <laughs> <laughs> a little early Christmas. First Christmas gift. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> In the Capitacasa household, you always leave a pubic hair on your That's buddy's right. mic. You get, to, you get to open the first gift this year. <laughs> it's like finding a baby in a king cake. <laughs> It Every is. time a pubic, hair leave a pubic hair on you. Mike. No, I know. I didn't know about Dominic the donkey either. So this is. I just keep no, learning no, about no, Christmas. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you do, Ethel? Hello there. You uh. uh you want to turn around, maybe, and just uh, say hi. The figure perks up and begins to stand. And as he stands, it looks exactly like the man who answered the door downstairs. And he stands up, he brushes off his uniform, and he said, Father said no guests! Roll for initiative. Uh, It's another one. Oh, shit. Critical threat. It's still not him. We having fun, St. Lou! Yeah! Whoa! This crowd is fired up! Oh my god, should should we come back here? How will we ever find an available hotel room? (laughs) No, you guys are great. I had some great barbecue last night, by the way. Yeah, it was really good. Holy shit. Really good barbecue. Was that salt and stone? Salt? Holy shit, that was good. We'll come back while the Cardinals are in town. Because that stadium looks amazing. Yeah. Yep. And they just give away tickets for that shitty team. <laughs> that team has won more... It's they the never won, won anything. They never won anything except for more World Series except than anyone, except for the anyone else in the National League. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of sad Met fans over there. What did everybody roll? Aldo, what did you roll? I rolled a 21. Oh my God, this is going to be the best show ever. Ethel. 25. 25. Natural, natural five. This is going to be the best show ever. Eris. 28. And when I roll, I battle cry. Oh, yeah. And I go... Hands off the John piece. We'll deal with that in a moment. Atticus? Should I say what I actually rolled or what I wanted to roll? <laughs> give us the... Give, what did you want? I wanted a 35. Okay, and what did you roll? 21. Okay. <laughs> Suki? I rolled dog shit garbage. It was a 24. You got a real sailor's mouth on you. Uh, I know. Wow. <laughs> Okay. All right. So talk to me about your battle cry. This happens pre... It happens when I roll initiative. I can yell a mighty battle cry to demoralize an observed foe as a free action. Oh God, I'm um, so excited. Go on. Do the, do the battle cry. What is it? Yeah, what do you say? Uh... Ah! <laughs> 
terrifying, though. Terrifying. Were, were you just role playing your already low roll? Is that what just happened? I rolled 28. That was that pretty was, good. That was pretty good. The best uh, uh, out of all of us. It's pretty good. And what did you say, uh, Ethel? We're going to kill your dad. Holy shit. Whoa. My God. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> Right out Why? of the gate. We're going <laughs> to kill your dad. We're going to kill your dad. All right, roll your battle cries. And this is an attempt to demoralize? Yeah. Kate and I rolled the exact same number on the oh die. Oh, Eris and God. Ethel rolled Oh, my God, you guys same. are so cute. Oh, my God. Oh. I ship them. What'd you roll? I had 26. Roll. I don't care. He's immune to fear, and yeah. demoralize has the fear trait. Uh, nice. And he also nice rolled research, La Valley. He also rolled the highest initiative of all you suckers. Shocker. Well. If only you had rolled that thirty-five, O'Brien. Yeah. Then you would have beat him. I felt like initiative was very important in Tro- this case. <laughs> Normally, it's not so important. Troy, oh my be- God. before you hurt us, yes. can you just move Poopsie next to Suki? You can't control Poopsie yet. No, I've lost control of Poopsie again. <laughs> I can't find my snake. <laughs> Someone help me. <laughs> Here, now you can control him. What? <laughs> that is not nice. That is not very Christmas of you, For sir. For the audio audience, Troy has changed the snake's name to Garbage. <laughs> All caps. I but think you it's have a more con- fitting name. But you have control, so you can change but it back. But I, yes. I can change it back. I'll change you it back. The snake's garbage. name is Pepsi. It's Move very Move garbage serious. wherever you want. Everybody roll a will save. Oh. He just oh. is like, ah! And as he does this, you see, like, magic come out of his body and reach towards all of you and wash over your bodies. Give me a will save. Is this a fear effect? God, yes. <laughs> what did you get, Suki? I rolled a 23. Fail. I know. O'Brien. I am bottle capping. No. I shouldn't have said fail. Will save. It's too much. It's too much. Too important. God damn it. <laughs> I, 25. Fail. Eris. Uh, 33. Success. 31. Success. Crit success. All right. Bravery. You are very brave. (laughs) Skid. 30. 30. Success. The worst table in the room. Rolled better than the other bad table. Than the best table in the room. All right. <laughs> Where that ass is the... All right. Martiniville. <laughs> <laughs> Ethel, you are unaffected. However, Aldo and Eris are frightened one. You are both frightened two. Damn it. He has one more action. And he just... Brutal. Brutal. He uh, effectively neutralized for the remainder of the game. He pulls out a gun. No, I don't. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Now what? (laughs) What did you say about my father? (laughs) (laughs) It's Eris' turn. Eris, what do you got? Jesus, are you serious? (laughs) Um, Yes. um, So he looks really scary, huh? Yeah. Um... Like, every fiber in me just wants to put up a meat wall because I don't want to see him, but then that makes us not be able... You know, I can't... I smell sex and can... Give it up for the tiniest penis. I mean, bladder in St. Louis. (laughs) Um... So, he's immune to fear. I guess I want to roll the knowledge to see, like, maybe what else he's, like buffed or immune to so that I don't waste my fucking time. All right. Or my spells. Uh, A little occult. Occultism. Or uh, if you have any lore alchemy. Um, I'm going to cast Guidance on myself uh, before I do that. Okay. 25. All right. First action, Guidance. Second action, you're doing this knowledge check. All right. So this guy, you fought one of these already. You assume it's probably the same thing the way it's acting. It has a lot of immunities. Um, 
Mm, 25. Uh, here's what I'll tell you that's going to actually be helpful. It's resistant to physical damage, uh, so it's going to take a little less from every physical attack. Uh, it's also immune to uh, death effects, things that would be helpful to you. Death effects, doomed, drained. Jesus. I think that's enough. All right. Huh. Um, doomed and drained and death. Yeah. That sounds great. Yep. Um, let's see. I got one more action left. I can't do much with that. I'll maybe cast shield on myself. Okay. To buff, to try to neutralize the fear effect a little bit because I don't know what this thing's going to do. Okay. Little shield. One action shield. One action shield. It's Ethel's turn. Uh, Ethel is going to stride up to this uh, hollow fellow. So fucking courageous. I am very brave. What you um, and I'm going to do a double slice. Um, I want to show you what he looks like, but it's taking... Oh, right. There he goes. Oh. That's all right. Keep, do your double strike. He still looks like Thomas Dolby. <laughs> okay. Uh, 30 on the Warhammer, and uh, that'll be a 40 on the hatchet. All right. Miss, regular success. 40 is a 40? regular success? I'm not going to repeat myself. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Say that again? A 40. Miss and a 40 is a regular success. And there oh. he is. Look at that handsome son of a bitch. We should have went in the cozy cabin. And we can't demoralize him. Cool. <laughs> I felt railroaded to come up here, and I just want to state that on the record. <laughs> uh, 12 points of damage. It's magical, if that matters. Okay. It's physical damage, though, right? It is physical. Okay. Uh, and that is my turn. Decent little turn. If you like bad turns. So I, just, to, just to put that in perspective, with my best weapon, a natural 17 would not hit. Well, you guys shouldn't have been so cocky fighting the Darrows, because now it's party time. Suki, wow us here in the I'm, great city of St. Louis. I mean, come on. This is, I can't, I'm not going to be able to hit. I'm going to do my best. Correct. You're not going to be able to hit. I know. You've already um, fought and defeated one of these things. With Keep the that same in mind. AC? With the same AC. Uh, is there anything you can do to debuff? Uh, it's hard because I'm frightened too, and all my DCs are down. Yeah, so it's either too, yeah. hit and hit low, or you make a save and I lose a spell. Yeah, don't waste the spell. For you guys should have rested so Suki could have got back all her spells. <laughs> that's had a, a cozy fun... cabin all lined up on Airbnb. That's a du- that's a silly dumb idea. We should. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to try to hit with a produced flame. <laughs> in I'm going my hand. to drink an entire bottle of Chardonnay. Cool. This Chardonnay is delicious. Uh, We're going to serve this in our martini. So that's a 35 to hit. I'm sorry? 35 to hit. That's a hit. Okay. Fire. With what? With Produce Flame, heightened to fifth level. Nice. There you Not go. Spell w- attack. Okay. It's a cantrip, and it's heightened to fifth level. There's heightened now. Oh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Um, that was give me that demon. So that's, uh, let me get an auto roller. Hold on. Sorry. All right, so that's going to be 5d4. Here we go. You have a different AC against spells? No. No, I just was surprised that she rolled so high. <laughs> okay. Your, your natural 17 wasn't a miss. It just wasn't a crit, right? No, it was a miss, he said. I rolled a 40, and it was a miss. No, no that was, no, 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 no. was, it was a not a crit. crit. Not a yeah. crit. Oh, right, okay. Uh, that's going to be 18 points of fire damage. A couple things are going to happen. It's going to use its reaction to rage. Oh, right. Reactive rage. Reactive rage. It looks at you and it flies into a frenzy. I'm going to kill you! <sighs> it says... It's about to run away. How much damage was that? I forgot. 18? Did I say 18? 17. 17. 17. 17? Thank you. Thank you, crowd. <laughs> 26. I love that. Okay. But that all went through. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to command Pepsi, and Pepsi is going to get up and flank with Ethel. Ooh. And Pepsi is probably not going to hit, but going to take a bite just to see, just for shits and giggles. Uh-huh. That's cracked eye. That's not going to hit. Uh, nine. Uh, 27. It's a big old miss by okay. garbage. <laughs> big old miss by garbage. <laughs> and it's Pepsi. Aldo's turn. <laughs> Aldo. 
Aldo, so can I do... Could you be a cool guy for a second? I think I'm a pretty cool guy. And Prove let it. me know if there were any other useful bits of information that I could learn from a really good knowledge check. Yes, yes, there is. Okay. And you guys learn stuff before as well. I just don't remember what you learned. But luckily, uh, Sydney takes amazing notes. So can probably. Uh, I'm scrolling back. I yeah. don't think I took. We'll tell you soon. But Kitty. if you want to roll a knowledge check, there is more I could tell you for sure. Would alchemical lore apply? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you'll get that. You'll get that's the best one you can roll. I'm gonna do a knowledge check. Uh, okay, that is a 35. Nice. All right. I'm going to give you some juice. All right. Immune to bleed, disease, death effects, doomed, drained, fear, healing, poison, sickened, and unconscious. Physical resistance, five. Oh, it's shit. now raging, so it's gaining temporary hit points. However, its AC is lowered from that rage, not unlike a barbarian. Okay, so I know a little bit more... Uh, lacking the ability currently to blind him with science. I'm going to move into position to hit him a little better, and I'm going to throw a bottle of lightning at him, moderate size. Get him! Nice! Get him! Uh, oh, that's great. That is a 39. 39 wow. is a hit. Oh, that's beautiful. That's uh... keep in mind also the balance of this. Now that it's in the reactivate rage, its AC has been lowered to make it a little more hittable and a little more critable. But a thirty-nine is just a regular hit. Still oh. not a crit zoning. All right, uh, fifteen points of electricity damage, <laughs> and flat-footed until the beginning of my next turn. Okay, flat AC the... lowered again to everybody. Yup, and I'm out. And you're out. See you, Skid. Thank you for coming. Have a good tonight. night, dude. Yo, your costume Skidmar, was great. Skidmar, everybody, Skidmar. Your costume was great. He's got to catch a flight. Thank you for coming, Skid. Thank you. I'll Aldo is out he of He might actually combat. not come back. I'll bring your computer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aldo's out. Atticus. Wow, this beautiful yeah, crowd. This, uh, when this guy screams, it puts a, some sort of deep fear into Atticus, and uh, he's shaken for a moment, but he knows there's one thing that he can rely on, and that is the the base push of force damage that can just knock anything physical into oblivion, and he is just going to panic cast magic missile and just do 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 and fire a bunch of magic missiles at this guy. Six missiles, in fact. Is that 1d4 plus one for each missile? 1d4 plus one for each missile. I rolled four, 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 three, three, three. Yeah! Go, 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 go! That is 27 points. Holy shit! Go! Gateway jump! <laughs> I love it. So uh, that will hopefully uh, do some damage, bypassing his frightened condition. You don't get to roll a save, etc. And uh, yeah, 27 points of force damage. Round two, it's turn. Who's standing next to him? There's garbage to the north. And there's a hero named Ethel to the south. Hi. Hiss, hiss, oh, hiss. I am going to mess hiss. you up. First thing I'm going to do. Hiss. There's a snake. You should hit the snake. Hiss. Oh. Right off. I can't do that. All right. Shit in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to your mother. <laughs> What is right? Wrong? Here's what it's gonna. Don't do that. All right, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> You're not gonna hit me. I am going to. Oh, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do. It. I'm gonna stride ten feet down. Take your attack of opportunity. Thank you. I have to do it because I want to do this, John. Uh, that'll be a thirty-five to hit. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, that's a hit. Okay. Uh, also, for the record, you are flat-footed into the uh, the start of my next turn. If if Skids goes away earlier. <laughs> Is that a sound? What? <laughs> singing Christmas hymns. 
Okay, 13 points of physical and five cold. 13 Ooh. physical, five cold. All right, good for you. <laughs> Big old hit. The reason I wanted to move is because I need to move to do this thing. I stride, and then I'm going to faint. So this is going to be a deception check against your perception DC. Do you have that number? Yes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Troy's going to roll. Troy's going to roll. Your total is true. Uh, 300. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Sparta! No, what? <laughs> All right. Fuck. 26? Miss. Oh. Fail. <laughs> Best day right. ever. It's so bad. No. It's, it's just wasted! <laughs> if it's right. any consolation, you didn't fail by much. Right. Well, I get a strike off of this, but your AC, it, you're not going to be flat-footed. Basically, it was a feint that would have been a critical success to keep you flat-footed forever. Instead, I just get this one little shitty attack. Natural 20. <laughs> Troy's gonna roll! Troy's gonna roll! Your total is <sighs> I think it's a named character. Oh, uh, you think it is? Yeah, he uh, has yeah, a name. You think it is? All right, uh, let's take it to the niche. Tom from St. Louis. Tom! Tommy! Hey, Tom. Tom. How is there not a Tom in this room? <laughs> like someone that works here <laughs> named a Tom. Tom. There's you a Tom? Tom. Yeah, we'll just say you're we'll Tom. We'll say it's you. You're Tom tonight. Tom from St. Louis, Missouri. Good hustle. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, coach. Deal done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Deal double damage. Nice. You may instantly move your character up to 10 feet in any direction for free without incurring an attack of opportunity. Good one, Tom. Wow. Good hustle, bro. Wow. Okay. Thanks, oh Tom. man, that is sopping wet. That's 38 points of bludgeoning. Those man. teeth are soaked. As he just fucking punches you in the mouth. 38 points of bludgeoning damage, and then he's going to, I guess, move 10 feet for free. See ya. See ya. Okay, shit. He's he gets away move from over that there. Were you flat footed? No, I. No, you're flat footed. Oh, shut up, you're flat footed. Check flat-footed. it and see. <laughs> you're flat footed. All right, he's got one more. No, wait, that was a. T- yeah, he's got one more action. And he is going to. He moved, did his feint. The, the move was free. The second move is for free. No, the first move. No, you moved. Yeah, no, that's part of the feint. Right? Uh, yeah, part of the feint is oh, the move. Okay. So that was two actions for that, John. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that free 10 feet, and I'm going to move right next to Aldo and Atticus so that I can then use one more action. Uh, Pand was off. <laughs> the John piece. <laughs> when you run a live show, you can do what you want to. I'm going to roll one, two, three, Atticus, four, five, six, Aldo, Atticus. Fuck. Oh, I'm sorry, George. <laughs> there are kids here. There's at least one child. I'm going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> you the dropped <laughs> the hardest f bomb <laughs> in know. regular All polite night. conversation with in George the in the room. room. Like every constantly what, forty seconds. Every like, time she like spoke, really hard yeah. lands on the K. Like bam, landed it. Yeah. It's like, the kids good. like it. The kids like it. Right. They give yeah. me two <laughs> thumbs up. They think I'm cool. I'm going to punch you. Take an extra four points of damage. <laughs> I'm going to punch you. Reactive Rage does an extra four points of damage to you, Ethel. Ah. I don't see you removing it from your character. I thought you were talking about Skid, because that's, yeah. that's your attacking. I thought you were me, too. I just punched you for a total of 31 to hit. Oh. Yeah, that is a hit. You're going to take... Ow! Oh. 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Smack! Thank you, Tom. That really hurts. All right, but here's the good news. It's everyone else's turn oh, sorry. before his. <laughs> what the hell? Eris, you're up. Oh, Jesus. Keep um, it moving, guys. He's flat-footed. Exactly. Let's go. It's late. Let's go. Crap. Come on, I got a flight in five minutes. Don't. <laughs> good thing I have clear. Um, <laughs> Since we didn't use Cozy Cabin, I'm going to use my final... You're going to use it now? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Sh- Good Build a hut in this room. No, I'm going to use my final level three spell slot uh, to cast haste again instead. Okay. Um, okay. On Ethel. 
Amazing. Uh, so two lover. actions for that. Your lover. Sure. And then I'm going to sustain the shield on myself. Okay. You're frightened. Yeah. This sucks. I, I don't know what to do. The first, the, the first fake version of this guy fucked us up so bad. Eris in particular. So she doesn't know what to do. Okay. It is Ethel's turn. Ethel, you are also a little bit frightened. A little bit what? A little bit frightened. Am I? You critically succeeded. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, at the end of your turn, your frightened condition goes down. So you go from oh. frightened two to frightened one, or frightened okay. one to not frightened. Uh, Ethel will take a step in okay. to flank, though he's already flat-footed, so I guess that doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, because I'm quickened, I'm now going to take uh, two attacks. I'm going to do a double slice. Okay. You're hasted. I'm hasted. Okay. Ooh, okay. Natural 19 on the Warhammer. Oh, nice. Oh, he's flat-footed. Crit him. 42. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's a crit, dude. Critical hit. Yeah! yeah! Critical oh, crit. Critical crit. Critical crit. And 25 on the hatchet, which I assume misses. Miss. Hell yeah. Wow. So many dice. Big math. So much math. <laughs> Okay, 24 points of physical okay. and 6 points of cold. Uh, double. You know you double, double that too, right? Double. The cold? Yeah. 12 points of cold. 12 points and of physical, cold. And the physical, right? 24 was the doubled physical. I rolled 4 on 2d8. Uh, oh. He's bad at rolling. Do you have any actions left or you had to step to do that? No, no, no. You are prone. You are not Yeah, prone. you knocked prone. <laughs> <laughs> What seems like all night a very polite young woman in the crowd <laughs> just yelled, suck it. She's saying what we're all thinking, honestly. We all, it was on the tips of our tongues. I, I didn't mean, say that, it. that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to come back to St. Louis. That's yeah. actually. <laughs> I'll see you after the show. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use my last action to do another attack. Okay. How many actions do you have? I'm, ha- I'm He's got one extra. All right, I'll put the snail token on this dumb creature. <laughs> M- miss on the final attack. Miss on the final attack. So the snail means he's prone. Yeah. The shoe means he's flat. Wait, does his AC go down when he's prone? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about <laughs> it. I'll look it up. 25. I- Suki's turn. She doesn't do physical damage. Uh, I am going to uh, reach out my hands and break every liquid in the room and cast Hydraulic Torrent and cause all the liquids in the room to join together, and I'm going to blast your limp little body with a Hydraulic Torrent. That is rude. Make a fortitude save. I shall. It's very expensive wine. (laughs) (laughs) Natural one. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is a critical Amazing. failure on hydraulic turret? So it's not the coolest thing in the I'm world. I'm already prone. You get pushed. <laughs> I push you ten feet against the wall. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and you take. Jesus. You take. Oh my gosh. 34 points of bludgeoning oh, damage. Whoa, <laughs> wow. As I shove you against the wall. Oh my god. Holy oh shit. Oh my god. And you're still prone, so. I'm still prone, yeah, I know. You just <laughs> shot me. Along the floor. <laughs> yeah, sliding along the floor. <laughs> it's been hit with a fire hydrant. It's like, uh... Yes, basically. And you know what's the best part is it comes from all the water in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that was flavor. That was flavor. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to, uh... <laughs> there you go. That's a torrent. Uh, oh my gosh, this is too much fun. I love playing this game. And then I'm going to command Pepsi. I who can is... make it yellow. <laughs> What well, was all the liquid in the room? 
Jars of pee. Suki, what did you do, Suki? <laughs> is this guy just been like till after the combat? <laughs> she is great. Is this guy just been like peeing in bottles around my room? <laughs> uh, Good Pepsi's, Lord. Pepsi's gonna Howard Hughes slither up and uh, try to take a bite. Why not? Pepsi, mm. All right, so Pepsi slides up to this poor, poor Ooh. hollow one. That's gonna be a thirty-one to hit. That is a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Dude, this dude <laughs> is getting embarrassed. <laughs> like, knocked down, peed on, shot against the wall. Now some snake just chopping at him, like. <laughs> he just, like, chomps your hand that is limply out. <laughs> and then after this, we're going to kill your parents. <laughs> I want your last memory to be. <laughs> Did you all just hear like the 100% Philadelphia come out of Joe? <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, 14, I know. 14 points of piercing, and that is my turn. Oh my God. Phenomenal. All right, all right so this guy is in rough shape. All that piercing didn't go through. Of course. However, <laughs> an, uh, a brilliant turn by Suki, and now it's Aldo's turn. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> do I do I have a do I have a sense of whether this guy is aware that he looks like my acne and mun? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, that uh, is that bad? <laughs> no, I was just I was going to say you're so money and you don't even know it, and it would have been a huge laugh line, and then yeah. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> um, I think it was the lady so that told instead, me to suck it. Uh, I'm gonna throw. Uh, some bombs. Okay. I'm going to do something different. He's he's wide open there. <laughs> he's uh, wide yeah. open. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually, I'm going to throw a, uh, I'm going to throw my last moderate alchemist fire. at. Okay. The, Ooh. Uh, track that. Write that down. We might notes. need a little cabin. A little cozy The job. cabin is no uh, longer available. It's not her. optional. Cabin's gone. Uh, okay. <laughs> because it was a third level spell and I used There's all my slots. <laughs> Okay, uh, that is 12, 12 not points. Not your cabin. <laughs> Wait, did you hit him? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I rolled a natural... Uh, that is a 34 against That's his a hit, prone yeah, yeah. AC. Uh, that is uh, 16 points of fire damage, including splash. Oh, boy. Okay. Four All points of thundering damage. Oh, man. Two persistence. Nice. Persistent what? Fire damage. Okay, that'll tick on his jaw. All right. Uh, second action. Uh, I am going to throw another, I should have done this before, bottle of lightning. Uh, and that is a 30 to hit. That's a hit. Okay. He's laying on the ground covered in piss. It's amazing. Everything's a hit. The real question is, why were there so many bottles of piss in this room? <laughs> uh, 12 points of, of electricity damage. Okay. Electric piss. Three <laughs> points of, of sonic damage. Oh, my wow. God. He's flat-footed. And with my last action... I'm going to throw a lesser alchemist fire. Natural 20. <laughs> critical threat, critical threat, critical, critical, critical threat. <laughs> Un- Unbelievable. <laughs> Do you feel like a Midwestern housewife drown drowning your sorrows in Chardonnay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mother's little helper. Uh, don't mix those. <laughs> it's a red. Don't, don't mix, mix it with my Charbel. <laughs> Charbel's at the after party. Tonight, huh? <laughs> Give me a round of Charbel's. What's the fucking crit? Dude, this is insane. <laughs> this is from Ben R. in Blountville, Tennessee. Hi, All right. Hi, Ben R. Ben. Ben R. in Blountville. Aldo tested. Sheila approved. Hi! Your attack was perfect. Your bomb 
or other projectile strikes the enemy in the most advantageous way possible that is narratively appropriate. Roll 1d2 plus 1, and the result is the damage multiplier for the crit. Whoa! 1d2 plus 1? Yeah, so it's, it's good. it might be triple damage if you... If you. That's huge. Uh, that's a natural four on a four-sided so die. That's so that's triple damage. Wow. Okay. Triple damage. If Aldo drew this crit, <gasps> all splash damage becomes persistent on enemies. Wow. <laughs> that is a really good one. I wow. can't believe that's pulled for you. Wow. Thank you, so Bloodfill. It's, it's triple Thank you, damage. All right. Uh, that's 39 points of fire damage. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah! <laughs> when I was walking in Memphis, yeah! I was amazing. I mean, and I am tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he is annihilated. Wow. Annihilated. And you are out of combat. <sighs> Just remember that. Next time you're like, we can't hit this guy. <laughs> Didn't even go two rounds. <laughs> there's so much urine in this room. So I, know. <laughs> I know. So much piss. But at least there's a lot of fire, too. So it's yeah. like right. also, really the, hot. The Nothing urine, worse than the smell of burnt urine. Yeah, the <laughs> urine was electrified. It yeah. just smells right. horrible. <laughs> this rug is ruined. Father said no visitors. Yeah. I'm going to kill your father. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, there are stairs going up, but there's a lot going on in this room. The, the thing that really jumps out at you are these paintings, these, these uncanny, highly detailed paintings, one on each wall. In addition to that, um, there, are, uh, there are, are, are a couple of shelves. There's obviously this monkey with the violin. Um, what do you guys <laughs> Obviously. Want? Obviously the taxidermist. Atticus monkey. walks up almost in a <laughs> trance to the monkey. <laughs> And pees on it. <laughs> Whips out his rat penis. No. Uh, he Joe, walks up to what? the monkey. What? Yep. What? <laughs> what is he touching? What is he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the martinis. <laughs> There's a reason it's rule number one. Yeah. <laughs> um, he'll touch the monkey. Does, is, what does it feel like? Taxidermy. What the fuck? <laughs> it feels like a fucking monkey. <laughs> he'll push it over. Eris is watching you like... <laughs> <laughs> you just had surgery. I that, just had surgery. I shouldn't feel good. Yeah. You should yeah. be doing It's going to really hurt tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the monkey falls. Eris is watching you like, Atticus, what are you doing? Can you please move out of the way? Can we look at the paintings, please? All right, who's looking? Well, let's you know keep things moving here. Is everyone looking at uh, the same painting? Everyone look at there's four different paintings. There's five of you. What do you do? We look at different paintings. All right, so who looks at what painting? North, south, east, west. Just position yourself on the map. West, south, wait. North. <laughs> and, and Pepsi looks at the Eastern one. I yeah. guess, yeah. Yeah, poopsie. <laughs> Garbage. All right, so Suki goes to the west. Eris goes to the south. Ethel goes to the north. Ad Aldo, you go into the I'm going to assist Pepsi with looking at the Eastern one. All right, Thank Atticus, you. what are you doing? <clears throat> He's looking at this monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you let me move on from the monkey? I just ripped my stitches. <laughs> <laughs> he kicks it while it's on the ground. No, um, It could be worth something. Just pick it up. He's going to go up to Ethel uh, because he doesn't believe Ethel can really discern artwork. Jeez. He's a merc. He's a simple merc. He's a master woodsman craftsman. <laughs> Whittler? He doesn't need you to do that. I smell sex and can Master with that wood. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Suki. Yes? You go over to the western wall. 
The Western Wall. Western Wall. Diane Weist. <laughs> this wall was sponsored by Diane, Diane Weist. Weist. <laughs> <laughs> and what does this painting look like? You look at the painting. Are you are you moving it? Or are you doing anything? Or are you just staring at it, kind of trying what, to? What is the it? painting? You look at it. The, you're really now that the fight is over. All of you are really enraptured by these paintings. They're highly detailed and very uncanny. And what is it? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> uncanny. It's highly detailed. Bit uncanny. You stare at this thing. And what is going on? It is a highly strangely <laughs> stop <laughs> but angular <laughs> landscape oh you can't tell if it's if you're looking at buildings or just some weird demented unknown space I want you to really get into it Suk okay but as you look at it whether it be buildings or a weird space, the images begin to rise. Oh no. And start to move, and the angles become both sharp and soft at the same time, and they seem to almost reach out and engulf you, drawing you no. into the scene. You, you, you feel the sensation like you're being engulfed in the obscene angles I look and away. architecture of this unknowable place. You try to look away, and you cannot. Your pulse begins to race uncontrollably, and you feel cold beating of sweat hitting your face. What do I do? Ethel and Atticus. Oh, no. You stare at the painting on the north wall. It's circular. It's not a rectangular frame. It's a circle. <laughs> well done. I didn't think you knew art so well. He went to art school. And it depicts a, what looks like a sunken, submerged city with strange lights sort of dotting the landscape, glowing amongst the sodden streets of this strange, sunken city. It's so fucking realistic. It almost looks like a photograph, but you don't know what those are. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the only thing you compare a painting to is another painting, but that seems yeah. silly. It's so realistic, it looks like you're looking at, like through a window at something. But as you watch it, ooh, ooh, you start to feel a little out of breath, like you've been running. And then you start to feel like, like a little nauseous as well. And Whoa. then suddenly your mind of all places goes to that scary place of the vastness of the ocean. Uh, Think about the open ocean and you start to be overwhelmed with a sense of anxiety and dread as you feel like you're being pulled into this sunken city in the painting. Aldo and Garbage. <laughs> You're looking on the east wall at the painting near a desk, and it shows a stage in a grand theater. Oh, oh, oh. No. Exit. No. Stage left <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Exit. No, stage fucking left. no. It no. looks like there's this great cavorting dance happening oh. on stage, Aldo. There are limbs and stretched faces within the picture as you begin to stare at it. But every time you start to focus on one aspect of the painting and then look on to another, you look back and it seems like something changed. And then you look back again to the other thing and that's not what you just saw. Like you might see a man and a woman dancing with reckless abandon and there might be this look of like, horror on the man's face. Then you look at something and you look back to them and the man is smiling, but the woman is in horror. And as you stand there staring, you feel yourself start to sway to a music that you can't hear and your limbs 
like start to stretch out to the left and the right, like you just want to get lost in this mad dance. <laughs> please, please stop. <laughs> Eris. <laughs> Kate has completely covered her face in a hood. Eris is to the south looking on the painting right here between the desk and the stairs. And it's just a single cloaked figure standing alone in a blasted alien landscape. It's Kate. It's Kate. It is. It's like you're looking into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more horrifying. You look at it, and at first it just looks like a hooded figure, but what the hell is on this figure? You look a little bit more, and it looks like there are snakes coming out of the folds of its robe. Snake. Three or four snakes. Pepsi. Out of one hand. Pepsi. It's garbage coming out of its robe. Garbage (laughs) streaming out of its its sleeves. Three or four snakes coming out of this (laughs) fold, and it almost looks like it's standing on a on like several legs of snakes. Like everywhere there, where there's an opening in the robe, there is a extension of a snake. And then you kind of look around the landscape and you look back and the figure's gone. But you see it right there in the oh, corner oh, of your oh, eye. Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and... You know it's there, so you, like, turn to look at it, and it's gone. However, now you're in this alien landscape. Uh What? You look around you, and it's just blackness, barren land, dead earth with cracks in it. And you're alone inside of the painting. Except you're not alone. There's someone behind you. And you turn, and this being is standing there. And we'll see you in Philly. <laughs> <laughs>